This is a horror game podcast. It is meant for mature audiences. It may contain shocking revelations, violence, and sexual themes. Viewer discretion is advised. fellow investigators and welcome to our video podcast into the darkness where my friends and i play the call of cthulhu role-playing game i'm your host tom Rayley. the scenario is voice on the phone it was written by sandy peterson and it's from a collection called peterson's abominations our keeper of arcane lore is keith craig and this is a one shot so without any further delay let's begin our journey into the darkness keith thank you tom we find ourselves in southeast dallas september of 2023 this the situation is tense the gang gang war is about to explode a new gang se14 has arrived on this on the scene and they're taking a territory from all the rival gangs they seem to have a particular focus on their their main rival se13 who they are a splinter group from we join our investigators as, the, as they've been called to meet the leader of SE-13, Longhorn, as he has a special task for them to try and turn the tide of this uh, ever-bubbling gang war. You guys find yourself uh, coming into uh, this uh, empty warehouse. You see Longhorn sitting there. He's uh, probably one of the oldest gang members. He's approaching uh, almost 40. He's been uh, in power ever since the last gang leader was uh, given a uh, death sentence for a few of the murders that he uh, helped uh, organize. But Longhorn looks uh, looks up at you and he, he nods. He leans over and speaks, whispers in one of the ears of one of his, of his henchmen. And then he, uh, he asks you all to uh, take a seat. Good, uh, good to see see all of you. You're my um, most trusted uh, recruits we have. As you know, uh, things are going to shit pretty fast. Uh, this SE14, led by that piece of shit Viper, they've been uh, pushing on uh, on us ever, and they're grabbing up more and more ter- territory constantly. What I'd like for you to do is go go out there and cut the head off the snake. Just uh, take him out any means necessary. Princess, I know you like to take your razor out and cutting out. You and Digger can make it a date. You bet. Good. Date night. Date night done right. Do you want us to bring the head back? Yeah, they took some of our uh, some of our men's heads. Let's uh, pay, pay it back. Maybe uh, teach a lesson. Send, him, send in a picture. Excellent. Oh. He's like, uh, just be uh, careful out there. Watch out for him. You'll know, you'll recognize him because uh, they wear they wear green, and they're usually missing a few body parts. They're going to miss some more body parts. I like it. I like I like where you're thinking there, Digger. That's why uh, that's why I trusted you with this. <laughs> well, he goes. Uh, be sure to get get save all the details for me. I'd like to like to hear how he begged. I can take a video if you want. Yeah, that'll be good. Just make sure that we he can get rid of it if the uh, the pigs pull you over. Got it. Post it this time because you know that's how they can trace us back. That's how I get more likes on my TikTok when I tr- when I post these videos. Yeah, but I told you you can't just post things like uh, murders and stuff. They like it. You, you know? just have to put the right hashtag. It's going to end up on the dark web, and the police are going to come. And they're going to get us. <laughs> We're going to go viral. Yeah. About that that time, uh, another gang member walks in. You recognize him uh, as Gordo. He's in uh, his young 20s. Uh, he, he steps, he's got a cell phone out. And he, he looks up and he's like going, uh, Senor uh, Longhorn, uh, it's him again. 
And Longhorn kind of looks and he, he looks at you and he puts his finger to his lips and kind of yeah, uh, they bring the f phone over and he goes, he hits the speaker and he's like going, is this Viper? On the end, he goes, it is. You might want to check out the uh, corner of 36 and, and L. It's a couple more of your members lost some uh, some limbs. He's like going, you, th you thought you could ambush my people? You thought wrong. He's like going, soon you will fall, you piece of shit. I'll put a bullet right in his head. And uh, then you hear the bone, uh, you know, goes quiet. And Longhorn shakes his head. He's like, he calls me from a different number every time. The piece of shit. Yeah. Like. Oh, you can see see the pressure I'm I'm under. We've, uh, I'm losing more and more territory. You guys go out there, and take care of it. This will move you up up in the in the gang. Keeper, you said that uh, this was a splinter gang. So was Viper yep. in thirteen? Are you asking me as a keeper or a Longhorn? I'm asking the keeper. Uh you don't know. Okay. Mm. So I guess I have to ask Viper, uh, Longhorn. So boss, uh, this Viper has a thing that's very personal with you, yeah? Uh, I think it's just a gang rivalry. I, you know, I, I don't know, know his real name. I don't know why he's uh, latched on to me. When I talked to the Chaos Re the Reyes Calajaros, they, Pigpen said that uh, he was calling him too. Where does this upstart come from? And no, we, we don't know, even know where he comes from. We just need to know where his snack is. Yeah, we'll let's get faster for him. Yeah, if I if I knew who he was, Frosty, I, I we it'd make it a lot easier. I'd get you to take him out, send you right to his home. So, uh, what do we know about a hideout? Don't know anything. He wants us to go to 36 and L. So we go somewhere else, right? And we look for one of their boys in green and we follow them until they lead up. Maybe we can send you a, a finger here or there on the way. Uh, do, we know where the, where, do we know where their territory is typically? Yep, it is uh, to the west of your territory in a area called Pleasant Grove. Uh, is this part of Dallas got a lot of tall buildings and things like that? Uh, not like uh, you would uh, would see on the old Dallas show. This is more in the warehouse district, so you know maybe three or four stories at most. So look, what I'm wondering is he wants us to go to that spot, so I bet he's got people waiting there to watch the spot to see when we get there. So why don't we come up, up, up around those people? We figure out, we come up stealthily, cleverly, and we watch for them. And then we come up behind them and give them the knife. What do you think? Just be careful. They've been, the bat, all the other squads I've asked to go out, they've been, they've been one step ahead. Hmm. Hey, uh, do you think do you think they're the guy watching us here do you think they got guys inside I'm starting to think yeah yeah. It, if, we, if we find, find uh, someone inside gonna make it a uh, lot worse for them than it is for Viper yeah I, I think I, I think Digger's on to something what if we go we walk into their trap but smartly and be prepared and take one of them to lead us to where he is. No one else knows where this guy were, is. If there were buildings and we could get in adjacent buildings and get up to the roof and look down and see if we can see where they are. I don't know. I don't like all this sneaking around. It's a trick. Plus, the phone call, have you uh, what he's called before? to brag about taking 
some of our boys down? Yes. You send people out and you find what? Uh, uh, generally, uh, our uh, boys are uh, killed and uh, the toe fingers are removed. The last one, they they took a, took a foot. Mm-hmm. A whole they, foot? Yeah, a whole foot. Maybe they build a Frankenstein monster. Uh, so maybe two of us go to 36 and L and three of us go around behind and then we fuck up one of their men and the other one goes crying home to mama and we follow that fucker. Yeah, I think that's the way to do it. Well, I gave it... That's why I entrusted it to you. I got, I got a shipment coming in from, uh, from the south. Okay, boss, we'll go out. All right. I trust in you. Keep your eyes open. All right. Well, I assume you guys uh, head on out. Separate. How many vehicles? Two. Do we At have vehicles, or are we on more. foot? Uh, you can you can have vehicles. The gang's got vehicles. Yeah, but you got a vehicle. They know you're coming. Well, we have the the decoy, right? Comes up loud in front. Exactly. And the other three move quiet in the back. Maybe uh, maybe riding. Uh, you know, we pick up some shitty looking suburban car that doesn't look gangster. I'm park far enough away. Walk, who wants to play that. decoy and who wants to be uh, moving behind? I'll, I'll be a decoy. I'll I'm be not decoy. bad at moving quietly myself, so. Yeah, I'm pretty quiet. Uh, what do you think, Taco? You want to take uh, Princess to look vulnerable? Or do you want to take Digger so you can fight your way out if things go bad? Ah, I like the idea of taking Princess with me to look vulnerable. I think it'd make him cocky. Yeah, but you know, you're going to have to protect her. Oh, I can protect her. I can protect her. I got I got my ways. If they follow me on TikTok, they'll know that I'm not vulnerable. Just saying. Yeah, she's protected by God and the, and the TikTok. Chinese. <laughs> All right, we'll go first. Let's take a selfie before we go. We'll have the, this crew. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, thanks. Mm-hmm. No, we'll have this crew. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, nice. Okay. I'm going to post it. Not, not right now, t- later. Then we can make a reel with the head. All right. Okay, so uh, Taco and Princess, you're going to uh, approach on the street, and Lucky Digger and Frosty, you guys are going to look for a uh, building that you can maybe uh, get get a couple floors up. Am I understanding that correctly? Yeah. Okay. I mean, we should know our way around our own territory, uh, right? You do. Yep. Yep. And you know that this is kind of getting right right near the uh, edge, edge of uh yeah. Yeah, it's not quite the uh, disputed territory, but that's almost even worse because they're pushing into your territory. Well, now, if uh, we're we're SC thirteen, they're fourteen. Yep. Did their territory used to be our territory? Yes, it did. So we know that territory pretty pretty well. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So the uh, three looking for a uh, place to uh, kind of observe. Uh, there's plenty of warehouses where you can put, you can hide out. Uh, just give me whoever has the lowest, uh, stealth. You can give me a roll if you want to sneak in, or if you just want to kind of just. I'm at 30. 55. 55 also. Yeah, so I got a roll. Mm-hmm. Oh, ye 76. We're seen. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the security guard for this uh, abandoned building, he's like going, hey, hey, you can't come in here. Uh, it's private property. Hey, shut the fuck up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, you know, yeah, I get paid $15 an hour. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't worth that. It's I ain't like, going to oh. shoot you. Just shut up. Oh, Here's a hundred. Yeah. Go fuck off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, don't don't break anything. Uh, I'll be I'll be at uh at, at, at Johnny's uh, having yeah, a beer. I don't give a shit where you are. Go. Uh, you hey, got to get out of there. So you guys make your way up. As you look down, you see a um, you see looking down onto the street. Where is that? What car? Is you see a a Taurus, uh, kind of ran run up onto the the curb. It is uh the doors are open, and you see two um two two guys. They're wearing blue. Um, it looks like uh, one of them had his throat cut, and the other one is uh was probably shot. But you do do notice that you know there are a lot of people are just kind of like. Try not to look as they go as they go by. So people Talk. have seen this. No, no cops. Have shown up. No cop. Nope. Yeah. Taco and Princess, you guys. Uh, how far away do you want to uh, park the car? So <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, if possible, I'd like to kind of like drive past the car. Okay. To kind of get a view of the car and then park um, just a short distance, if that's okay. Yeah, that'll be just fine. So as you drive by, you uh, you see, like I said, the car's up on the curb. Uh, the two of you can make a spot hidden as you go by. Oh, nope. Yeah, you're paying attention to your driving. Yeah. I got a 39 out of 55. All right, so a regular? Regular. All right. Yep. As you go as you go by, you can see uh in the front a uh, large uh, dent in the vehicle and uh with uh the spot hidden, you kind of surmise that it looks like they were rammed. From the front? Yep. Okay. Taco, did you see that? Did no, you see what 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 was it? They there's a huge dent in the front of the car. Someone rammed them from the front. Interesting. That's a strange way of doing it. Do you know those guys in there? I have to go over and look. I'll see. I tell you They're what though. Blue. Yeah. I'm going to fucking cut these people. I'm going to cut them. I don't tolerate this shit. Not from those green guys, no. Mm. All right. So you guys we'll, get, yep. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, we're no, going to say you guys yeah. got parked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and, and exit the vehicle. And I would like to, to walk cautiously toward the vehicle, watching my surroundings, looking for any suspicious persons okay yep that sounds good uh we'll just do another spot hidden and we can see him walking there from up yeah here. Mm -hmm. yeah failed i didn't get it you don't see anyone suspicious I don't see anyone yeah okay and can we add that we're lo we're watching like a hawk for anybody coming down another street or mm -hmm. yeah looking for uh ambush yep 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 Yep, I understand. All right, so as you guys uh, approach, you see that the two bodies, one is uh, El Lobo and the other is uh, Zuzu. Uh, so one one guy and a girl, they were a couple. It looks like their bodies have been, uh, when you get up closer, you can see that uh, El Lobo was shot. Zuzu was uh, hacked on with uh, multi by multiple times, but both of them are missing their right hand and it doesn't look like uh, they used a sharp blade it's almost like they 
several whacks to get it off. This ain't right. This ain't right. I think they had just got it. He, she just got a ring from him too. They were dating. Yeah, I know. I know. They were serious. The this ring's still there. Oh, <gasps> I'll take this. <laughs> and I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. I'm going to look while I grab the ring. I'm going to look for like anything else in the car. They're in the car, right? Yeah, they're in the car. Uh, they're kind of like hanging out of it now, <laughs> you know, like the body. Yeah. Yeah. Very delicately. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to get like bloody. And since you both knew them, you can give me a sanity roll. Oh, no. She asked me to be her maid of honor. Yeah, I'm sure she did. <laughs> oh, God, I got a 98. Uh -oh. it's, just, it's just one. Just one, but you, well, you oh, kind gosh. of like, uh, as you were kind of, and once you got the ring off, it kind of hit you what you were doing, and you kind of almost like, you know, you get that like food coming back up, but but you're able to swallow it back down. You know, and like, keep the ring on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you already suffered, so. I take the bracelets and watch that fell off and put those on too. <laughs> I'd like to. Uh... I'd like to examine the front of the car where there's the the dent is. Mm -hmm. Um, is there paint that's been traded? Like what yes. kind of? Yep. Uh, there is a uh, silver. Because uh, the the car is like a uh, a rust colored uh, red, but there's definitely some silver paint uh, that has been swapped on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. And from up top, uh, is it clear that the Taurus is where the collision happened? Like, are there skid marks? Are there fluids from the vehicle? That kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they were probably, you could probably surmise that they were just hit completely unaware. They were definitely just ambushed straight out. Yeah. And... If I look around, like, around the street area, I mean, do I see, like, car parts lying around from the other car? Give me a luck roll. No. 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 You know. About this so time, you, you do hear, probably several blocks away, but you do hear the police sirens. Okay. Or are you gonna say something, Digger? I was gonna say I want to. Uh, but I'm, the warehouse we're in that's nearby is it a half a block wide, a quarter block sort of thing? It's Texas. Everything's big down there. So <laughs> we'll go. We'll go with half a block. Yeah, I just want to sort of do uh, the corners on this floor and look out the windows for anybody who was watching to see who came. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's, that's actually kind of what we said. So, yeah. Maybe while you're doing that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go up onto the roof, and see if I can see anyone else watching from anywhere mm. else. Yeah. 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 After enough of kind of looking around, you you're pretty sure they're they're not watching it. Mm. Is yeah. Did we see any CCTV cameras for some of these warehouses? Might be pointing around the crime scene. We'll say yes. Okay. Yeah. Not sure Does, how we'd go about getting it, but. Yeah. Does Leghorn have any cops on the payroll? Well, we I'm need to get the hell out of here soon. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move out. Uh, I'm, I'll. Uh, I'll send Taco a text. We we need to get a move on. I say we. Uh, pick a point maybe six, eight blocks from here into their territory and find another place to stake out and give a little back. You know, I heard a rumor recently that they had grabbed a nurse from Parkland Hospital, like right out of the parking lot. Is that, a front, is that around here, Keith? Or is that in there, like solidly in their territory? It's actually the reason why people were talking about it. One, not just that they grabbed a civilian, a civilian, you know, which 
most gangs they don't want to escalate it especially right. if you start messing with white middle class that's a way to definitely bring the police down on you but it was also you know several blocks north of this mm. area so it's very like the nice very, area of dallas yeah, yeah 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 strange move from them well i need to beat feet let's go we'll go get back in the car yeah all right and you want to meet them down at the the bottom yeah yeah we'll meet them downstairs Okay, no problem. Uh, you know, as you're as you're leaving, you're further enough away, but you do see uh, uh, two black and white uh, police vehicles pull up, and they start processing the scene. But unfortunately, this is becoming a regular occurrence: the police showing up to uh, two ga- two dead gang members. Is this particular intersection a common? place for them to display or attack our gang or no no because this is that like was in the territory that as of a few hours ago there had not was not disputed or or fought over so yeah the forward line of troops is being pushed into your yeah yeah they're they're making a move into our space but we don't really know anything go ahead once we get in the car, I'm going to go look at Zuzu's uh, Instagram and see if she put anything up about what her and El Lobo were doing. Or if she saw anything. Okay. Okay. Mm, give me a luck roll. I'm looking for my luck. Oh, no, I failed. Top. They had not. Okay. She didn't post anything. They must have been going on a secret date. Hmm. I wonder why they were coming in this direction. Where were they going? I, re- I want to look into the nurse. I think that's what the hell are they doing pulling people from the suburbs? It's really weird. Probably just having some fun with her. In the wrong place at the wrong time. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was something special about her. Maybe one of them got shot and they want somebody to help pull a bullet up. That might um, be it. Yeah. Yeah. Are we <laughs> alone in the car? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, Taco. Yeah. I need I need to tell you something. Okay. So, you know, back in the warehouse when Longhorn was talking about Viper? Yeah. Saying he didn't know anything about him. Well, I heard this rumor that Viper, I heard this rumor that before Viper left, he was, he and started his own gang. He was part of our gang and that Longhorn had sent out a bunch of people to go try to fuck him up mm. so he wouldn't leave and go start his own gang, but it didn't work. And he went and started the other one. But Longhorn was pretending like he didn't know anything about it, but he knows the fuck who Viper is. Yeah, that's, that makes a lot of sense why Viper would be so pissed at him and want to fuck him, fuck him over in a lot of ways. I wonder Don't. why. I wonder why Longhorn wouldn't it wouldn't tell us that. I, think, I don't know. Yeah, don't but don't, know. don't tell anyone I said that. Oh, I don't, I don't know want. Nothing. I don't want Longhorn to get fucking mad at me. Oh no, 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 no! We don't want that. That's bad. Yeah. So, how long has this been going on, Keith? Uh, uh, the it has uh, been going on for four weeks. Hey, so if Viper was one of us. And we don't know who Viper is. You do not. Then Viper's might be a different name. Viper's you know? changed might be his name. Yeah. But, but why might wouldn't be Longhorn? We know, we just don't know. Why wouldn't Longhorn tell us who he is? Who do we know in the gang that's left? In uh, uh, in your gang? Oh, that's left. Uh, that's left oh. our gang. Uh, you know that. 
Well, we're sure like Gold. the mafia, nobody leaves. <laughs> That's right. Blood, blood in, blood out. So, uh, Toro is the uh, who's a 17 year old. He was a very recent recruit to SC 13. He uh, he disappeared, and uh, in a way that you know, in his his Instagram post or whatever, he kind of uh, had a picture of him uh, changing his uh, background from blue to green. Fucking well, Toro's just a kid, though. He ain't the mastermind behind all this. No fucking way. Taco, do you know Toro? He's about your age. Yeah, I, I remember Taco. I remember him. He's a punk kid. You know, thought he was some shit. He's not. You know, he likes to brag. I think we need to do some stealth reconnaissance. I think we got to sneak around, see what we can find out, and listen to the rumor yeah. mill. Yeah. Do we do we know like do we know where they, they commonly hang out at? Like like where they're commonly seen? Know their territory you know where their territory is, but uh you haven't been hanging out there, so like their the dive bar that they prefer, you would not know that. Mm. Taco. What if you messaged Toro, said, like, you don't feel appreciated, people are shitting on you, and you're thinking about joining SE14? I can do that. I can do that. That's no problem. Yeah, but you need to tell you need to tell Longhorn you're doing that. Otherwise, yeah. he might misunderstand. Yeah, give him the heads up. Yeah. Yeah. That's keep a good her, plan. Keeper, what illegal stuff do we do? Are we drug uh, runners? Are yeah, we? Yeah, mostly you uh, mostly have a connection runners. with the uh, the drugs coming in along uh, I thirty five corridor. Longhorn said there was a shipment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, wait a minute! If there's a shipment coming in, we should probably know where that's at. Do SE fourteen know where that shipment's coming in? I don't know. That's pretty hush hush stuff as far as the boss goes, but um, what I'm thinking is uh, if uh, is the the junkies and the users on the street might know a little something. They might know more than we, we think they do. If we threaten a couple of the junkies and the, and the pushers, then uh, we might find out where, you know, fucking green shirts are hanging at all right okay so where are you guys headed hey babe <laughs> i missed you hi <laughs> look what i got hint, oh hint. damn did taco <laughs> marry you damn him <laughs> No, I, it was from, it was, I just picked up some stuff. Um, Is that a real fine. diamond? It looks real. You can, it's kind of big. You can tell if you can scratch the glass. Try to scratch oh, yeah. the windshield. Yeah. It, do, it does not. <laughs> <laughs> it's still pretty. <laughs> well, look, they had some CCTV cameras here. Might be worth tracking down if we can get anything on camera. Not sure how we'd go about it. I don't know nothing about electronics or anything. No, I don't know shit about that either. It, more of someone could talk someone into giving us the footage. I, I can climb up on the roof and snap off the camera and bring it back. <laughs> the, the, the pictures are inside. <laughs> Not how that works, man. They're in the computer. It's in the computer, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, if time passes and it starts to get dusky or dark, I might sneak out and go seeing if I can get some information from the the bums and the okay, yeah. But I got to do it, you know, looking like yeah. kind of undercover. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Uh, in your territory or SE fourteen territory? On the edge, right on the okay. All right. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, Lucky, what is your plan? 
when did when is that shipment coming through? Not tonight, is it? Not tonight. No, in a, okay. in a couple days. If stock yeah. goes right. It's worth it's worth being on that possibly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, uh, what are you thinking, Frosty? You're muted, David. You're, you're mute. I can't hear you, man. Speak up. Seeing those two hacked up, I'm feeling a little more direct. And I want to cruise through 14 territory and look for some lone punk and fuck him up a little bit and stir the whore in his nest. Somebody's going to want to report back to daddy. And if it's the 17 year old punk Toro, then he's just been lucky because he's got uh, big low balls but he'll fuck up right away because he doesn't have experience. That's a good plan. I could get, could text him, tell him I'd like to meet up with him. Oh yeah. We could uh, have a conversation, friendly conversation. Yeah, it'd be good to know where he was uh, running things from. Okay. I'm looking to that nurse myself. Okay, so you're gonna look look into that feels, nurse. It, that feels bold. Grabbing okay. a civvy in the middle of the burbs, you know. Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, do you plan to go into the hospital? Search, search the web. I'll search. I'll start with the you know, just pull out my phone, look into oh, it. Okay. All right. Uh, then uh, let's see here, Princess. What were you going to be doing? I kind of like the idea of going and fucking some people up. All for killing right. my best friend. All right, that's you and uh, Frosty screwing people up. And Taco, you were planning on texting Toro, right? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna text Longhorn first, let okay. him know what I'm doing <laughs> as a yeah. precaution, and uh, and then I'm gonna text Toro as a an attempt to uh, arrange a meetup if possible. Got it. All right, Prent, uh, Lucky, we'll do do you first. Give me a library. Excuse me, a library use. Uh, which uh, the base for library use is 20. <laughs> so were you calling for me on that one, Keith? Yeah, yep, yep, yep. that's all right. That's all right. You know, problem. Uh, no, 52. And I don't have anything better on library use. So, no. Okay. Yep. Uh, what you find is, uh, you know, the, the stuff that was in the Dallas Morning Star. It does have the nurse's name. Mm -hmm. Uh uh, buh, buh, buh. Nope, not sorry. Which I'll get to you in just a second. <laughs> okay, but yeah, it says she was taken from Parkland Hospital. And when was this? That was three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh, not live anymore. All right. Jeanette Williams. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Digger, you were going to go uh, talk to some people in the streets? Yeah, people that I think have connections, people that know people, but they're, you know, bums and druggies. And... Give me an interpersonal skill, whichever one you want to use. Oh, let's see. What do I have? An interpersonal skill. Intimidate mm -hmm. or charm. I've actually got I'm gonna go charm a chunky. I'm gonna intimidate. All right. Hmm. Just give him some drugs. Charm. Um I got an 83, so nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Um you mostly you hear this same stuff that you've been hearing that that you know they're trying to the most of the junkies are just trying to stay out of the way you know they're more worried about getting their necks fix and what you find out is most of them don't care who they get it fixed if it's sc14 fine if it's sc13 that's fine also where's the fucking headquarters Nothing. I, nothing I, I, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, I gotta get my next meth hit. That's all I'm, I'm worried about. Then what I'm going to do is spend some time 
in the shadows, mm -hmm. just see if I get lucky. If somebody yeah. in a green shirt runs past, are you in SE fourteen territory? I'm probably I'm probably moving or, into SC14. Yeah. Okay. Um give me a spot hidden. Jesus, I keep rolling such lousy rolls. Calling it eight, another 82. All right. Uh gonna be a, a night out in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Princess and Frosty. How are you going? Is what is your plan? I want to uh, cruise a commercial strip where there are bars and look for some dumbass fourteen kid who's by himself mm -hmm. and uh, fuck him up a little bit. All right, so looking for one by himself. That's going to be a luck roll to, to find that. Who? Which one of you has the lower luck? 45. 50. All right, Frosty. 50, sir. You, uh, you do see SE14 members. Uh, they're easy to recognize. Not only do they wear green, but pretty consistently uh, they either have nine fingers they're missing an ear uh, a couple of them they've uh, looks like uh half their nose has been cut off um uh, so but but with that luck roll you don't find any alone you do see uh at most you find it down to uh three members hanging out together drinking some some 40s you think this is some fucked up initiation thing princess i mean they don't do it in our gang i've never heard of it before unless i mean it's not us against them all of them have it that nose stuff that's fucking weird yeah i mean you can't uh it's not like you can leave the gang and get a straight job with half a nose do you think they've got that nurse they stole cutting piss bits off for them yeah. The uh the individuals we saw they didn't appear to be suffering any continued trauma from these they did not separations. Like, no, yeah. green, hanging off like No, no. It looks like <laughs> it looks like they uh are not not infected. Now some of them, you know, they're still probably healing, but it does look like they have been cared for. Like they're bandaged. Yeah, bandage. They like have one of those nose job things, like where. Yeah, ha however you bandage up when you cut off half your <laughs> nose, you know. Oh yeah, they, yeah. They've got a they've got a health plan in this gang. Maybe we should. I mean, they're getting care. Maybe we steal the nurse back from them, and we have uh, somebody on staff. It's it's a good idea. Nothing's gonna put Zuzu's hand back on her dead body, mm -hmm. though. Is there any look at my ring <laughs> commonality to what's going? Is they is it always the left ear or always no. the? Mm -mm. Uh, all right. Well, um, do you want to do you want to take the wheel, princess, and we'll just do another cruise around the block, and I'll just try to pop one of these sons of bitches, and we'll drive away. Yeah, I never get to fucking drive. Let's do it. Yeah, All right. drive I'm gonna like I'm gonna put the seat really far back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> put All some right. like good music on. <laughs> right, yeah. Nice to know you, Frosty. <laughs> like Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh yeah, <that's laughs> nothing like that. All right, so Frosty, give me a uh, whatever gun you're shooting. Roll. Thirty-eight. Okay. Uh, regular success. Okay. Uh, roll your damage. Three. Three. Um, you hit him. He goes down. And uh, the typical response that you would have thought, you know, uh, uh, a few uh, moments later, he starts shooting back. Princess, give me a drive. Oh, yeah. I've got a 25. People don't mm. let me drive very often. 
I got a 41, so failed that one. All right. So uh, you want to push it? Yes, I do. All right. Okay. If you fail, you are going to break the front axle. Oh. Does it still move if you do that? No. Uh, right now, you're uh, they're going to get a shot, and I'm going to actually give them a roll to see if their guns hit you. But I like look over panicky at Frosty with like a uh, look. Do it, princess. Yeah, I'm pushing it. All right. Should I use a different set of dice or just go with these ones? I don't know. That's okay. a gambler's fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? I missed it by one. I have a 25. Oh, that's too bad. That's too Maybe bad. Not. So <laughs> you can't on a push. That's right. So that's you right. you punch it, and like uh, you're used to make a front wheel drive car. This is a rear wheel drive car, and it kind of fishtails around and it hits that hits the the gutter, and one of the tires goes in, and you hear a loud snap. I don't know what an axle sounds like when it breaks. But <laughs> and you both stop and uh, you look up and you see the uh, the three gang members running towards you with their uh, their guns guns drawn. What would you... Oh, we are going to need to steal another car. Uh, Princess, uh, text your boyfriend and tell him we need extraction. I'm going to take a couple of shots out the... I assume that some of the window glass is broken in that. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to, you know, from inside the vehicle, low down, take a couple of shots to slow them down. Okay. All right. Suppressive Indeed. fire, I believe. Yeah. I'm texting with one hand because I'm 21, so I can do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. No problem at all, I'm sure. Uh, Where the shots. fuck are you? <laughs> Help! Fuck! I wrecked the car again. <laughs> if I do a second shot, do I take a penalty? Or I'm not really trying to hit. I'm basically just trying to suppress their approach. Yeah, if you're shot firing multiple times in a round, each every shot is with a penalty dice. All right, everyone. Mm -hmm. I have to fire twice though, just because I don't want to. Yeah. So let me roll the penalty for the first one. That's still okay. Number two, 19. That's nice. Ooh. Can I keep it? Yeah. 49 is still a regular. Nice. All right. Give me your damage. Right. Got a six. And it's another three. Okay. All right. Uh, we'll say the six hit the guy you had shot before. He goes down. Uh, the other one kind of spins when he, when he gets a hit. But the uh, third one is uh, firing back at, at you. Uh, 31 is a uh, hit. Ooh, we got a six, six HP on you. No protection from being inside the vehicle? No, nah, I rolled a hard, so. Right. Well. <laughs> so if I'm trying to stay low, I probably took it in the shoulder if I didn't die. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, fuck. Ah! The blood splatter across the, uh, the back as it... The broken glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, Princess. Uh, we got to stay low and move fast before that fucker catches up with us. Two of them are, two of them are slow or down. Princess, uh, where the fuck are you? All right. So, Princess, I like start what, you, a, what I start a live video. <laughs> yeah. Princess, what are you doing? You, you are uh, faster than Frosty. Index. I'm gonna run. Okay. I think. Give me a Constitution roll. Okay. Very low, princess. I failed. Okay. All right. I'm changing dice. Okay. All right. And uh, what are you doing, Frosty? Yeah. Um. You know, I'm gonna uh, holster the 38. Press. Uh my jacket against the wound stay low i want to get whichever direction she hit the gutter i mm -hmm. want to go to that next corner and turn that direction out of sight gotcha okay all right give me a constitution roll also frosty <laughs> 
Oh, I've got a con of 90, so 52 is a regular. Run in with that. All right. So you guys uh, turn the corner. Uh, both will get an action before you know that they'll even get near the corner. What would you like to do? Uh, what are the vehicles right here like? Uh, what, parked here? Yeah, there there is. There's always vehicles around. Uh, we'll say there's uh, most of them are kind of like your older older 1990s, early 2000 models. You know, so possible no. to hotwire or not? Yep. Yeah, that's what I want to. I want to drive out of here before I bleed anymore. Okay. I'll pick something. You know, whatever looks bulky and old enough that it won't be too computerized. Yeah. All right. Give me a mechanical repair to hot hotwire that thing. Uh. Wow. I rolled a ten. So that. No. Actually, a hard. I can make it extreme. Nope, nope, nope. With a solder car, you hear. Get in, keep your head down. And I'm actually going to get like halfway down the street and stop and get ready to make a shot at the corner. Okay. All right. Shoot, I have a gun too. Frosty, do you want me to shoot too? It can't be worth any driving. (laughs) <laughs> all right, you both both take, gun out of the window it's you out both take, both take your shot <laughs> 24 is a hard nice nope <laughs> hey, uh, you, you see a window on a building chatter from princess and frosty roll your uh damage two two yeah kind of hit him but if you punch it you can get yeah. out of there <laughs> All right. Mine All scares right. mine scares somebody. They're scared. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a lot of people. All right, Taco. <laughs> Taco, do <to> you? <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm going to, like I said, I'll send a message to Longhorn and let him know what I'm doing. I'm going to send okay. a message um, and just basically try to convince him that I'm interested in in his gang, I've heard good things. And could we meet up so I could hear more? Uh, it's it's about 30, 40 minutes before you get a text back. Uh, the text is, uh, we're always recruiting. What body part are you willing to sacrifice? Uh and I kind of stare at that message for a few minutes because that's weird. <laughs> and um, I kind of think about it and then I message back my pinky. Ah, yeah. When he gets that, he's like going, uh, he's like, uh, we'll accept another sacrifice. At uh, let me do the math in my head. At uh, twelve o'clock tomorrow, I'll meet you, and he gives you a restaurant's name. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'll let the others know I've got a meeting scheduled. We've got okay. your back, Taco. Yeah. They want a sacrifice. Like they want all a body crazy, part. All those crazy motherfuckers are missing something. It's weird. I, it, it's like it's like they got some kind of cult. Like what is this? I have a cult actually. Is that something I could roll, Keith? Sure. Yeah, with Taco saying it now, it's like, mm, what's what's up with that? Mm-hmm. Oh no, ninety four. No. Never We're heard all of that. So hot you got it, you got it. I love it. I love it. All right. All right. So uh we'll say what time you guys want to kind of did you kind of decide that you're gonna meet back up? Is there a reason to meet up tonight or just catch up with each other tomorrow before Paco's initiation? We'd probably you know, I- end up at the 
headquarters, right? Oh. I assume that could people who, who can't go to the hospital when they get shot go to the club. Oh, yeah, house. you need help. <laughs> Too bad we so, didn't get the nurse. <sighs> yeah, whatever time other people might be planning to show up, I need to go and see about getting this cleaned out and bandaged Look, up. Lucky, give me an idea roll. All right. Oh, which skill is that? Int. Yeah, that's it. Based on int. Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Yes. Yes. 81, Man, that's but a, I have an eighty-five. That's so. a perfect excuse to show up at a hospital. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know. You know. It's a little bit out of the way, Frosty. But I think Parkland Hospital might be just the place to give you a higher standard of care. Mm. Yeah, that's okay. We can. Uh... Just tell them I got hit by a drive-by at 36 and L, and they can add that to the police report. Innocent victim. Mm. Random urban violence is a plague upon our streets, I understand, the mayor contends. <laughs> Excellent. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Let's go. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, please drive... Uh, responsibly <laughs> <laughs> what do i look like princess please let's go all right uh so the two of them are going what are the other three doing well i probably get back the last because i was on foot out in the yep. city but mm -hmm. as soon as princess told me she was in a car accident i came running back i'm probably the last one to show up okay all right so i'm retelling the story very animatedly to of all course. the other people. Yeah, they're just going to put a Band-Aid on his arm and uh, and send him back because he ain't got no insurance. Mm. Yeah. Um, one of the uh, the gang members, uh, Diablo, he goes, that's why you should have taken driver's ed. I told you that, Princess. <laughs> I didn't hey, don't tell time. my princess what to do. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm, I'm sorry, Digger. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just, just, just uh, adjusting it. Here, here. Ha have some Colt 45. <laughs> That's a dynamite and, taste. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Taco, what you doing? Um, I'm back at the uh the the headquarters. And um if Longhorn's there, I'll tell him what's going on. That mm -hmm. yeah, I've got this meeting. And I'll tell him about this weird sacrifice. Like they want me to sacrifice something to join this gang. What? What? What the hell is that? Sacrifice. Yeah. Like they they wanted me to choose a body part. What? Like, like, like how are you losing to these people? They they they're not even whole bodies. No, they, it's crazy. Have you ever heard of such a thing? No, I mean I've heard of sacrificing other people's body but like your own yeah. i don't know no this is this is insanity yeah i'm hoping that uh that uh you know we can get some information out of him maybe learn more about their location and whatnot that's the plan anyway ah it's a good plan oh well, uh, you be careful out, out there taco yeah, I will. I'm gonna make sure that I got some backup in the in the shadows. Good. 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 All right. All right. Lucky and frosty. So as you make your way up uh up to Parkland Hospital, you notice uh there's a large billboard up as it goes uh reward uh thirty thousand dollars for information and then you see a picture of a of a a, a nurse. And uh, you recognize the name as uh, the nurse that's missing, Jeanette. Yeah, that's Williams. her right there, Jeanette Williams. That's her. Thirty thousand is not bad. Do you think she's still alive after three weeks, though? Three weeks, though, man. I don't know. But they didn't say for her to come back alive. They just want, you know, some of these people. They just want to know where the body is. At least they can bury them. But we don't fuck. We don't know where she is either. No, we'll find out though. All right. But when you guys get there, uh, who has the lowest luck? Oh, not me. Fight? I'm lucky. <laughs> I have very high luck. All right, Frosty, give me a luck roll. 
81. 81. Yes. Uh, it's unfortunately going to be a busier night at the uh, at the ER, but uh, you come in and uh, they're working, and you see that the uh, chief surgeon is a uh, a Doctor Lopez, hmm. and both of you can give me a spot hidden. Let's switch out some dice. Yeah. This is pitiful. Good. What's nice. the base again? Is it 25? Yes, it 30? is. 25. Okay. That is an 80. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my lord. Awful. That's probably me. I'm pretty bad. Our dice are really bad tonight. <laughs> Our dice are awful tonight. Frosty, I'm, tell me you got it. I'm gonna spend two to make it just because right. I'm I'm focusing extra to not concentrate on the pain in my shoulder. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh so as you're uh, sitting there focusing not on uh, trying to ignore the pain, you see a uh, a smaller sheet uh, up on the wall uh, saying uh, prayers for prayers for nurse Mia Torres. Is there a smaller print under that? Uh, if you, uh, there, there is. You go up. It says that. Uh, it says that she has been uh, sick lately, and she has, uh, you know, doesn't say what she's ill from because of a uh, HIPAA and everything. But she's been uh, mm -hmm. sick, sick lately, and we hope that she can return to work soon. Hmm. What kind of is it is it photocopied? Yeah, mm -hmm. some some sort of MS Word layout, or is it handwritten or uh, MS Word? Yeah, and there's no there are no images, not of no. There's a picture of her. There's a picture of Nurse Torres. How old is she? Uh, we'll say she's probably in her upper thirties, maybe maybe lower forties. Huh. Wonder what makes a young nurse so sick that uh in Parkland Hospital, is it affiliated with any kind of religious group? Uh no. No, it's not like Saint Saint Luke. Yeah, usually they gotta like Saint somebody or something. Yeah. No, it's kind of it's weird. Is it uh is it taped up or is it thumbtacked to a bulletin board or bulletin board? Is there anything on top of it? Is it older? No, no, it uh, looks like uh, there were probably, uh, you know, a week at most. Mm -hmm. So $30,000 for the one that got took and prayers for the one that's home sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just sick, though. Yeah, I must be serious if they got a, you know, they're lighting prayer candles for her. Yeah, I mean, nurses get sick all the time. They're around sick people. All right. So after about, you know, we've all been to the ER. After probably uh, a couple hours of sitting there, you're not, you know, trauma. So they're going to uh, bring you bring you in uh, eventually. Uh, you, you're sitting there on the uh, table. Lucky, did you go back with him? Uh, would you want me to, Frosty? I'll go with you if you want, but if not, yeah, I'm not. You know, all right. we're gonna have. All right, I'll go with you then. Want to generate a consistent story, so sure, yeah, yeah. So uh, the uh, you know the little curtain kind of pulls back, and you see a uh, a doctor there. He looks like maybe twenty seven, twenty eight. He's got a his name tag says Doctor Juan Lopez. And he looks at you, and both of you can give me a psychology role. What's the base on psychology? Oh, no, never mind. I got the Ten. Base. <laughs> I got more than base. For I've got a hard success. 70. With 15. Oh, no. Okay. Um, when he it opens it up, when you look at him, he kind of like looks a little surprised to see you, but then he quickly goes back to the doctor, doctor face. He goes, um, 
took a took a nasty uh, stray bullet there, huh, huh sir? Yeah, I don't know. We was just driving down the street, minding our own business. Some, you know, some teenage punk just taking pot shots. Could have been worse, I guess. Yeah, you're the, it could have been. The, you're the chief surgeon. Yeah, I, I, I am. Yeah, I, I've been, uh, been the chief surgeon for about the almost the past year. Yep. All right. I thought you had to go to medical school. You look like a kid. Ha, just good genes. I good genes. I assume. I I I saw. I started college. You know, uh, about four years earlier than most people. Oh, Dookie Hauser. I get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. yeah I'm I'm too young to know what that reference is. If I, someone <laughs> hadn't pointed it out. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell if anything is still in there? It hurts. Yeah. Let me uh, take a look here. Uh, he did pa- pass his first aid, so you do get uh, a hit point back. Oh, how many did I take? You lost six. Right, six. right, right. So right. right. Yep. Okay, kind of uh, in there. And what are you guys wearing? I'm. I've got a. I've got a white t-shirt on that was underneath the blue shirt that I took off. Okay. To staunch the blood. Jeans. Um. If we were moving with. You know, if we are moving quickly, then I'm in a blue shirt. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, after he gets done, he kind of bandages you up, and uh, he uh, he uh, signs off your chart, and he hands it hands it over to you, and and walks away. Mm-hmm. And when you look at the chart, there, there, lucky, you see at the bottom, he wrote. FSE 13 on it. FSE 13? As an F. F Fuck SE 13. Ah. (laughs) Fucking Doogie's a... Doogie's a... Doogie's a 14? Doogie's a 14. So I guess I'm lucky he didn't give me any shots. Yeah, but he's probably going to call somebody. Yeah. Do you think he's out of here soon? Do you think he didn't clock me, or is he just threatening you because he assumes I can't come, read? Come on, man. You know he thinks if if we're together, he's going to assume you're with thirteen too. Yeah, probably pulled tiny blue fibers out of the hole in my shoulder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Well, so they he you, he's the been chief doctor, surgeon. Been... Yeah, a kid, a kid, and yeah. a gang affiliation. But the nurse is gone. They took he, the nurse. He turns over a nurse from his own hospital, which is, explains That's how fucked. they did it. They didn't have to worry about intervention because the nurse trusts the chief surgeon. And he drove her off and handed her over. That's fucked up. And now she's the one collecting body parts for them. This you think that sick nurse has anything nuts. to do with all this, too? That's a weird sign. That's all. Maybe not. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make a little like small talk. If there's a nurse that looks kind Mm -hmm. of bored at the nurse's station next to the picture. Yeah. You know, you know, just kind of like meander over there. Look like I'm really reading it. No, man, that's a, that's a shame. She, she's, she looks really young. Yeah. Well, uh, Dr. Lopez says that, that you know, uh, she's got a new variant of uh, you know the coronavirus and all, and that it's, it's best that she she stays home. He he's been uh, he's been uh, God bless him. He's been going over to his house mm. and uh, her house and taking care care of her. Oh. He sounds like a real uh, a good guy. Takes care of his people here. Uh, well, I mean. <laughs> He he does his job. He's a little arrogant, if you ask me. Surgeons are all assholes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. And then the, then you add in the uh, the cockiness of youth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're a bit young, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should have seen the the people he his brother that he used to hang out with. I mean, they couldn't have fallen further from the the tree. 
from each no. other. His brother, possibly. his brother, a surgeon. Oh no, his brother's not a surgeon here. Either. No, no, brothers. Uh, I mean, you know, not to disparage people, but you know, he's your typical gang banger. Mm. You know? mm-hmm. That's a real shame. It's a real shame yeah. when people fall into that life. It is. I mean, I, uh, but you know, I understand sometimes people get desperate and all, but you know, it's yeah. just it's just surprising. One to be so smart, one not. So shame did so shame about that nurse that went missing here a couple of weeks back. They know anything uh, about uh, that? Yeah, yeah. I I was here when it happened. Uh she was going out for her uh her break, you know. I mean, it's kind of a dirty little secret. Nurses like to smoke. She went out to girl, have you don't smoke. have to I know. I, yeah, I get it. You know, I mean we know the health risks. <laughs> but yeah, she was out there and uh car pulled up grabbed an suv just in broad gone, daylight man. just like nothing bold you know, and just bold. disgusting mm. yeah you know and yeah it, it, was, it was unbelievable terrible mm-hmm. so yeah well but, you folks have a good evening you too you too uh hope your friend friend gets better I'm sure he'll be just fine thank you all right okay Right. So lucky you think his brother is Del Toro? That wouldn't surprise me a bit. This is maybe, fucking weird. Maybe Lugcorn knows his real name. He's another Lopez. I think this I, uh, I think this this Torres nurse, I bet I don't think she's sick. I bet they got her wherever they got the other nurse. Could be that. If he's going to her house every day though, Dr. Uh, Doogie Lopez. Then, well, yeah, but if she's like single, you know, maybe he just took her and he's, you know, they're just saying that she's at home sick. I'm saying we look up her address and if Doogie Lopez goes there alone, we take mm-hmm. him and then uh, mm-hmm. we have some leverage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's get the gang together, talk about a plan. All right. Hey, Did so we'll get a yep. prescription for some painkillers. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So I'll see, we'll, uh, I'll come into the club at noon. I'm going to go and drink some mezcal and take these pills. Nice. Good combo. All right. So you guys meet back up. Um, we, Frosty's uh, having a, a drink and in, uh, in painkillers, the winning combination there. So. <laughs> what I'll be trying do? not to punch him in the arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, we got some news, though. The, the head surgeon over at Parkway, he's he told us fuck SE thirteen. He's in it. His brother, his brother is a gangbanger. I'm betting he's Viper. You think the doctor is Viper? No, no, no. I think his brother is. The nurse told me his brother is a gangbanger, and Which then he told the doctor told us fuck SE thirteen. We got to fuck up that doctor. Yeah, we got to leave. You guys are. There's a. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you already take care of him? Did you already fuck up the doctor? No, 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 no. Frosty has a good plan. Apparently, he goes to see this nurse, makes a house call. I don't know if he's fucking her or doing what with that, but if we go to her house, we can, like, ambush. Did you get the address? Did you hack into their computers? Girl, what do I look like? No, I, no. (laughs) Hopefully, you know. A little digging will come. We'll turn that up. What was the girl's name? The nurse's name? Let Mia me Torres. Her. I'm gonna look her up on Instagram. All right, uh, Princess, give me a uh, library use or computer use. Your computer choice. Computer use. Pass. Oh, oh! <gasps> I got a 31 out of 55. Uh, her Instagram has not been posted on. Uh, in a few weeks, but you do find on like, was it whitepages.com or something, <laughs> you know, her, her address. Boom. Got it. Mm-hmm. That's my princess. <laughs> All right. Oh, did you two get engaged then? That's a nice ring. No, she got that off a dead girl. <laughs> I took it from my best friend. She's the one that got, got put down over on 36 and L. But sure I keep it as a remembrance. It. Yeah, I keep yeah. it to remember her and how much, how many people I'm going to fuck up in SC14. 
you know what? Um, you don't think that they were married already? You said they just got engaged, right, Princess? Yeah. That's what she told me. Yeah, but you said that her right hand was gone. So that yeah, was so on her was left still hand. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe they that wasn't her engagement those, ring. One of those chapels, and they got married. And he gave her a piece of glass. Oh, no. Were you trying Wait, to- do you make good money being in a gang? Do you get like a uh, steady paycheck? <laughs> yeah. uh, no. <laughs> what you My- get is brotherhood. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Because oh. the streets are tough and you need somebody to hang on to. Hopefully they have like a like a food court at the warehouse or something so we can eat some food. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So so what is the plan for the next day? What time is it now? Um well D twelve. Let's say it is uh five in the morning. Oh brutal. So okay. we've got your thing at noon, and we have this lead, the Dr. Gangbanger, checks on a nurse every once in a while. Oh, we got to sleep. And we got to sleep. Hmm. Especially Frosty. He looks like shit. We've all been drinking. I think you look great, Frosty. Yeah. I mean, besides the whole this, that's fine. <laughs> Babe, you gonna leave me for Frosty? I was just trying to boost him up. That was pretty mean. I think you know how he is about his image. It's fine. <laughs> Makes you look tough. Oh, we could share. Let's get some sleep. Your things at noon, Taco. Uh yeah. Was that what he told me? Noon. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's at noon. I definitely want some backup when I go into that. I don't want to walk in by yeah, myself. Yeah, we got you. Problem yeah. is, most of those assholes know what we look like, too. So we need to be careful. Oh, yeah. But I suppose the good thing is, if all we got to do is look for missing parts. And that should tell yeah. us who our gang members are. Mm. The location uh, he gave you to meet, is that in the middle of their territory? It is. It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to be careful. No blue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So you guys going to try and grab a couple hours sleep? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, When you wake up, say 1030, so you get get about five and a half hours sleep there. Frosty, you're going to sleep till noon because you drink some mezcal and painkillers. Lucky, you have a text. What's it say? goes you are nothing you're like scurrying ants you're always too late to to what we need what you want to find you saw it came in at six in the morning Hmm. i'll yeah i'll show everyone how the fuck's everybody got everybody else's numbers on the (laughs) the rival gang (laughs) yeah yeah how does is that viper the fuck did they get your phone number? This reads like a bad fortune cookie. Fuck him. Hey. All right. Uh, so who's going to the meeting with Toro? I know Taco is. I am going, yes. And I'm going to change out of my blue. Yeah. Probably into- look, I, look, I'll go with you, Taco. Look, we can't. Yeah, we got to get rid of this blue, though. Uh, yeah. I'll go with you, though. Well, I appreciate it. Because. Not a Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Looking good. Costume right. change. So, so Lucky's definitely going. Uh, Princess and Digger, what's your plan? Oh, I don't know. Uh, have they left? Uh, if you we wanted to go within, you could go within. But if you wanted to do something else, then 
No, I want to know what they've left. <laughs> oh. uh, let's say yes, then. <laughs> yeah. Princess, that was... How's... Uh, we got the suggestion now that somebody in our own gang might be undercutting us. Something seemed awfully suspicious about Lucky. How's she getting a phone call, a, a text on her phone? She could be the mole. She could be. I mean, she, she I would was never the only have thought one. it, but. She was the only one that knew about the nurse. Is she missing any fingers? I haven't really looked at her lately. Well, maybe they take something that you don't always see. Take like a toe? A toe? <laughs> Probably a toe. I don't know. See if... Uh... I mean, you're friends with her. See if you can find out if she got all of her toes. Wait, can I psychology her if she's not here? Just no. like thinking? No? Okay. No, no. Because you really hadn't been paying attention to it until Digger came in. So you. No, I only really pay attention to Digger. Smart. What do you want to do? What do you think we should do? You're smarter than I am. Uh, you've been in this gang longer, though. The gang <laughs> life. Hmm. Also, just hey, thanks for helping me murder my sister's killer. I really appreciate it. You came in clutch with. I know, but I would never have found him without you. You know what? If they're just collecting souvenirs, because it's like I, what I wanted to do was collect the, you know. I saw this killers. movie. I saw this movie once where they collected a whole bunch of ears and made a really cute necklace out of it. Yeah. That's probably what they're doing. Yeah. Well, if I get uh, Viper's head, you can have the ears. Make earrings Aww. out of the ears. Oh, my God. That would be so cute. They would be so cute. Nobody would fuck with me then. Make fun of my driving. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I could try to, like, talk to Lucky. She's kind of standoffish, though. I don't know. Maybe we can go get ice cream um, or something. Just keep an eye on her. All right. What do you think of Taco and Lucky? I mean, Taco and Frosty. <laughs> You've spent some time with them now. I trust Taco. I trust Lucky, too. I mean, I trust mm -hmm. Frosty, too. I think right. they're legit. Although, I don't know. What do you think? Well, I've known him a while. I don't trust anybody. Nobody? I guess I do trust him, but <laughs> maybe that's uh maybe that's a tactic. Maybe, you know, make us all think that we're all cutting each other's throats and that's how they win. Oh my god. So seeds of betrayal. All right, I'll text Lucky. I'm gonna text her and see if she wants to go get our nails done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so Taco and Lucky, you are uh, on your way. <laughs> Lucky, you get a invite to get uh, uh, your nails done. There's like nail emojis, nail polish, like frappuccinos. What the fuck is this girl on about? We're trying to do a, a sting here, and she's asking me if I want to get my fucking nails done. I don't know. Maybe that's the way she deals with stress, you know? I mean, different people... Do it different ways. Let, let's see how this whole thing goes down. You gonna do it? I'm just gonna tell her. Let's see how this all goes down. Like we're like, who knows what we're gonna be doing in two hours? I'm gonna send her like a meme that says like, "Take time for yourself." Oh yeah, treat, <laughs> treat <laughs> yourself. <laughs> treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. So Lucky and Taco, you guys uh, arrive at the uh, the restaurant, and um, what do you want to do? You don't see El Toro. Okay. Uh, uh, both of you give me a spot hitting because you're you're moving through SE fourteen territory now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will spend if Taco. If you don't make it, I will spend the. Ridiculous amount of luck on this. Um, how much? I want to be sharp. 
How much do you have to spend? Oh, uh, God. <laughs> the base is 25. That's correct. It would be 25. 25. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to be sharp. I want to be sharp yeah, for this. I understand. Um, well, I could spend 20 and make it. That's what? five less than you. What? Yeah, but you got yeah. shit luck in the first place. All right, we're metagaming here. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what we call her luck. <laughs> All right. So, so you, uh, when you, you notice, uh, consistently, there are flyers all, all over this town, this part of the town for, you know, have you seen my cat? Have you seen my dog? Uh, you know, and you go yeah. by by one and the there's a pet store and the the front window's broken out like they were robbed not not too long ago and these people are into some weird sacrifice shit seems like I'll actually text that to the rest you know something that I might want to look into while we're busy missing animals it don't make any What's sense that? I don't get it this whole sacrifice and uh, the nurse and don't get it the whole game what are they doing uh, you think it's just fear tactics trying to you know scare scare everyone i don't know trying to make people look big could be could be i mean you know i mean that's one way of doing it uh you know like if you're running a protection racket or something you know what? it's just fucking weird it's are you actually gonna do it are you actually oh, no. gonna do it no no, no, I like what are you gonna tell them, man? Like, just JK changed my mind. You think they're gonna like that? Well, I mean, I'm not you about know. to lose a finger. <laughs> well, I don't think they would actually do it here. Do you? That's don't think they would actually. I don't know, Lucky. I don't finger. know, uh, Taco. I don't know. I don't know. Like, you I go in know. with the meeting, it's a bar, right? I'll I'll sit at a booth nearby or some shit. Oh, okay, okay, all right. yeah, all right. They don't need to clock. Yeah, we're not going to go in together. They don't need to clock us as being together. Got okay. It. Okay. So as you're sitting there, uh, right about to, right on time, the the door opens. You see El Toro come in. He's got a green eye patch. Uh, he had both eyes last time you saw him. Uh, he got, comes up. To, he goes, uh, so, uh, hey, Taco, it's good to see you again. Yeah, uh, how you been, Toro? Uh, all right. I mean, you know, I don't know if this life's for me, man. Oh, how so? It's like going, you're not going to believe the shit that goes, that I've seen. You know, like, I I thought, like, you know, they, they took my eye, you know, you know you need both eyes for to be able to see in 3D, you know. Yeah. I walk into shit now. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. That's the whole Fuck. Well, I fucking did it. What um what's it for? What do you get? Guys, it's some it it's unbelievable. You 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 the bigger the sacrifice, the more more he tells you. And you know he he said he says that that like if we get can get some lovers like like he's like going hey you, you, you're joining right I mean I don't know I mean this whole well, eye I, thing you know, I mean it's... it doesn't have to be an eye you know if you're not circumcised be forced skin you know <laughs> I guess that's that's doable um, yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just really, I'm looking at you and I've got the eye and I've seen some of the other guys and I'm a little bit, I've heard some things, but I don't know. And like, what, sell it to me. Like, like, yeah. like you're, you're selling me like a timeshare. I'm telling you, man, they, they know, they know what, what, what's going to happen. They, you, you, Longhorn, he tries to set up an ambush. They tell us that it's coming and we've got it set up. We we go out there and we 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 take him out. You know, it's like, like the, 
the other gangs, you know, they're 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 finished. They, they, he, ain't, he ain't seen it. This guy, he knows everything. I'm telling you, he oh. knows everything. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. So what about you? What I mean, what do you get? Do you get like a voice in your head or something that like tells you the secret lottery numbers? Uh, Y'all, I should I should have asked you that now. Now that you say that, I, I could get I could get out, but I they got me by blood, man. They they got me by blood. He's oh, like, going, you know, if I if I could bring in a couple, you, you, you know, a, a couple. If we could get a couple. They said they say if we we get get a couple, we can we can take care of them, and then 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 they, they'll control the city. And then then we can be done. Okay. They they fucked up, man. They, they fucked up they, with the uh, Zuzus. They killed they killed her. Oh yeah, I saw that. Killer. Oh, they weren't. No, they were supposed to cat grab and kidnapping. Oh. Well, you know, I mean, that's stupid. What'd you do that for? I would I yeah, I was, oh, 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 I wasn't part of that. Yeah, I can't drive. You know, I, I you think I might have crashed it. No, it wasn't me. Yeah. <sighs> wasn't me. Yeah, you know, it was like I, I mean, the whole thing just sounds like it doesn't sound like a gang, man. It sounds like some kind of cult. This is like you jo- joined some kind of cult. What's going on? Well, you, you got to come to the warehouse. Come to the warehouse. You'll you'll, you'll see, man. You know, but, but you know, once you're once you're in, what what what, what you, warehouse? Where where is this warehouse? What warehouse? He's like going. Oh, he's like, hey man, you know, I, I can't, I can't tell you, tell you where it, where it is until I know, know where you're in, brother. You know, okay, come on, it's me, Taco. It's me, Taco. You know, your your friend. We've been friends oh. forever. Come All on. All right, give me a persuade or fast talk. I'll let you pick. I have neither of those on my. Cheat. All right, so persuade. <laughs> they are both ten <laughs> percent. The way I've been rolling tonight. Come on. Holy shit! I rolled fourteen. Ooh. I will spend the four to make it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. You sell it that that you know that you're you're genuinely interested and he goes uh he gives you an address he's like going uh when you show up man you know you know you know that's that i don't know the 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 white guys they they call it shaving the haircut you know bump 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 bump. yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah you honk your horn but the response instead of two because in any piece of shit can figure that out three honks pretty clever Uh, pretty clever got it that keeps that's how you know i understand that's smart that is very smart yeah we'll we'll open open the door and and stuff uh you know okay all right well man it's good seeing you but i got shit to do so yeah 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 you you got green right yeah i can get that yeah i got that Okay. Okay. Yeah. You know, it won't show up in no fucking blue. Oh no 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 no! That'd be dumb. I mean, I'd be asking to be shot then. Yeah. Yeah. They. Yeah. Or worse. Oh yeah yeah yeah. No. You didn't see what they did to Pigpen, man. Really? What they do to him? He's still alive. They take parts off of him every day. What? It's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, man. You know they're at the top. They're gonna be at the top of the heap, but. I gotta get I, I I gotta get out of here after after we get these lovers, man. I'm done. I'm done. All right, all right, all right. Hey, man, you take care. You too. All right. And I'm gonna let him leave first. Okay. He gets up and uh, he bumps into a half wall because he misjudged where it was because he has nothing. <laughs> 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 he goes uh, goes on around the corner. Okay. Yeah. And once he, once he kind of leaves, mm-hmm. um, I'll look at, I'll nod at Lucky and exit. Go after yeah. him after a few minutes. Okay. Man, what's this well, about you buying a timeshare? 
I didn't buy no fucking timeshare. But I'll tell you what I did buy. I found out where the warehouse is. Well, let's go let's go catch up with the others. Yeah. Oh, and another thing. They're looking for a couple. They want some kind of couple. They want a couple. What That's is this all about then. I don't know. They said they was gonna get a couple. And if they had a couple, they was they would take over. You gonna tell Digger and Princess you throwing them under the bus? I ain't throwing anybody under the bus. No. No, 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 no. I am I am a good I am go. good loyal. But yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Getting out of this fucking jack September in Dallas. I'm trying to wear a goddamn jacket. This is the worst <laughs> idea I've ever had. It's only a hundred. <laughs> All right, Frosty, you're probably waking up after uh, your uh, mascala and uh, and painkiller co- cocktail. <laughs> yeah, or she a couple of rags with Tabasco. It's good as good as good. Oh, uh, shoulders all right. Movements okay. Yep, yep. And you That's get another seven. point for a night a rest. Ten. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to our headquarters and look for who wants to stake out the nurse's place with me. Okay. All right. Princess, Digger, any of you interested? Yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Although I'm gonna text Lucky really fast and say we have to postpone our nail our nails. Because <laughs> I'm gonna go to the nurse's house. Good luck. Uh, I got you though. I got you. My treat. Thumb, thumbs up emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this little uh this little creep of a surgeon, he's not even 30 fucking years old. He's chief surgeon at this hospital. That seems hard to believe. Yeah, he bragged about how early he go to school. His his brother we know he's a gangbanger, so I'm figuring he's 14 because he wrote fuck us on the papers, which is pretty nervy bullshit. So we take two vehicles. We go stake out the nurse that he goes and prays with every day or whatever. And if the stupid fuck is alone, then we take him and uh, have a good hostage because I bet he's fucking Viper's brother. And he's a surgeon, right? And they're into cutting things. So we've some... we've talked to Taco, right? Taco, did you re- relay your message to him? Um, yeah, I've uh, okay, yeah, I've done that. Yes, I have really relayed that message. Yes, all right. We'll say so, you guys all kind of yeah got back together. So what about this witchcraft he's using to find out what we're doing? He's got my number. Do, do we think he's really 27? You think he's got some weird shit? Makes him look younger? Probably. You know, I mean, I guess that's easier than... I mean, maybe he just... I don't know, he's reincarnated some other ancient wizard fuck or, or some, something. Some bruja. This all sounds the problem stupid. is that you've got yeah. all the paperwork and all that bullshit. You get yeah. nine schools before you're 25 years old. And he's like in this institution where he has too much fucking power, but he's still working. He's still working uh, an emergency, taking bullets at it, the likes of me. So maybe that goes along with what Toro told Taco. Maybe he expected us. Yeah. Yeah. Or. You know, they got a lot of pets gone missing in their territory these days. Right. What are they doing with pets? Maybe don't know. It's, it's weird sacrifice injury. shit, man. I don't know what it is. That's some fucking... I, I don't know. Shit. Toro yeah, told me that... The, shit. Yeah. Toro told me that the, the bigger the sacrifice, the more you get. It's like you get some but kind of knowledge. that's a bunch of, of bullshit, man. That's a bunch I know. of bullshit. So what are they doing? Yeah, but what if it's not bullshit? What if they got magic, black magic? I don't know. Toro said that, that, that every time Longhorn makes a plan, ambush, they know about it. These folks say they, they know things. Yeah. They knew my I number. Didn't, I didn't what have if, a plan yesterday. I just drove in and popped some fucker, and they couldn't see that coming. 
Well, that's because maybe you weren't planning it. Maybe yeah. if we, what if we plan something and then we do something else? Then we're planning to do something else. What if we find a bruja and ask her what to do? Pay her some money. Let her let her block their magic. You got a mummy who's a bruja? I don't know. You can find one. I think be. our best bet right now is the nurse. And I think you had the right idea, Frosty. Yeah, this surgeon has to keep a some kind of clean profile, right? It's not going to the warehouse every day and meeting Viper and then putting on his scrubs. So he's he's got to go to the country club and go golfing and shit. He's <laughs> He's got to be related somehow. Yeah, well, so, three of us will go and stake out the nurse, and if he shows up, we'll fucking knock him on the head and put him in the back of the cab. Two cars, princess doesn't drive. Sorry, princess. <laughs> We Which need to be ready, purpose. though. There, we have another in. Taco says they're looking for a couple. Yeah, yeah, they're looking for a couple. They they a fucked up what? the first. A couple, like a guy, a, and a, a guy and a chick. Yeah, yeah. We That's don't what they were trying to do like with that. Zuzu and her guy. Yeah, we don't know anybody like that. No, we don't know a couple. Well, I'm not saying we actually do it. I'm saying that's our in. If we want, oh wait, you're talking about us. No, they're not talking about us. Nope. <laughs> None of you people see Rosemary's Baby or nothing? What's that? I, who's Rosemary? She's the movie, <laughs> dumb shit. So we know where the warehouse is. We know where the nurse is. So if we can't take the surgeon at the nurse's place, then I don't know. We call... Uh, we call the uh, Homeland Security and tell them that there's a bunch of terrorists at the warehouse and just wait for the airstrike. Yeah, that ain't going to happen. Yeah. You know, yeah, why don't we themselves. Why don't we just get the fuck over there, knowing that they're going to somehow try to ambush us and just take our chances and beat the shit out of them? Because they outnumber us? outgun us, and we were just told they know what we're doing. Well, we take a few of them out with us, then. If you can get that surgeon as, like, a hostage, I think we'd have a lot more leverage. Yeah. I think Viper needs his big brother. Will we go to the nurse's house? Don't tell Longhorn we're going. Yeah. Why? Just us. You don't, tell, you don't trust Longhorn? I'm just, if there's a mole and every plan Longhorn makes, we get ambushed going there. Let's not tell Longhorn. Let's go. Yeah. And we'll Although, see if anyone is there. Longhorn's calling Viper now, too, with his magic phone of many numbers. So, yeah, Lucky, go do something else. All right. Maybe he can't see all of us. He can't see all of us. If you can see anything, if it's not but just some, you know what? This is you some bullshit. You know what? Nobody can move that fast. So, what if we plan on doing something, and then we change our mind at the last moment? He's already sending people there. He wouldn't have time to say, "Hey, they're not there. They're over here." But we can't decide ahead what we plan to change our mind to. Well, then we don't decide until we get random. there and then change our mind. Because I don't know. I don't know how this magic works. It's all bullshit. Lucky's it doesn't right. It's work. all bullshit. Exactly. It's just bullshit. That's it's just, just that that's how they're, they're, it's a fear thing. They've got us all in our own heads about this shit. That's yeah. that's how they win. And you know, they once they initiate you and they take a fucking finger or a toe or your foreskin or whatever, then you don't <laughs> leave the gang, right? Because you're invested no. too much. No, I'm not gonna give up my foreskin. I didn't need to know. The point is that they've got the superstitious bullshit that's working for them, and we break up their little pretend magic, and then they're running scared. And if we're if we're right, and Dookie Hauser is the big brother, and we capture that fucker and see how many toes he's missing, 
then I bet Viper is going to not be so fucking cocky. Why don't we just put a bullet in his head? It's less leverage. Sends People a message. Watch. Yeah. Well, we. I think we keep the option open for sure. Hey, Frosty. We'll follow you, Frosty. Two cars. You're driving, Digger. All right. All right. Okay, yeah, so princess. yeah, princess riding with. Okay, uh, all five Shotgun. of you going? No, Get I think shotgun. lucky. Well, I, only for myself. Uh, we're splitting up a little bit in in case yeah. he okay. actually can track. You want a all shotgun, right. princess? Yeah, shotgun. <laughs> 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 oh wait, I don't. Doc, are you going with them or no? I did not. Oh, okay, with that I can do a shotgun. Uh, that's a good. That's a good question. What was your plan? What were you going to... I don't fucking know. I don't know. Is there... I don't know if we can look into this other nurse, the one that's gone missing. If there's anything uh, to look into there, you know? I'm not sure. Maybe I mean, not. we could... Do you think we could find her house? Yeah, that should be easy enough to do. Or we could go check it out. Just, you just know? Just to see. Yeah. Just to see. Okay. Hey, all right. So I got Taco and Lucky going to... Jeanette's house, right? Jeanette's house. Yeah. And uh, Frosty, Princess, and Digger going to Mia's place. Right. All right. Let's do Lucky and Taco first. Okay. All right. So, uh, give me a luck roll. I think Taco, you yeah, probably I'm, still have less say, than Taco, Lucky. Taco, you probably still have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should be down to, uh, yeah. Nine. Zero nine? Nine, yes. Okay, zero nine. nine. All right, so when you are about a block out from uh, where her house is, uh, your luck roll, you see uh, a car essentially just, out of control and it misses you and kind of jumps the curb and crashes through the uh the white picket fence of probably three doors down neighbor and you see this lady hit her head really hard on the steering wheel and you know looks like what she probably fuck? knocked herself what the fuck is that Did I don't fucking know. Do we? Do you want to go check on her? Should we check on her? Uh, people probably. are going to come out and start looking, though. People are going to. Yeah. That, that means they're going to see us. So we, we should. Yeah. They're no, going to no, see no. us trying to get you know check out Jeanette's house or whatever. Yeah. Let's go yeah, check we'll on just, her. We'll just cruise on by. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just okay. keep going. All right, both of you give me a spot head. All right, dice. Come on. <laughs> oh eight. Yes. I passed it is, as well. It is Jeanette that is knocked out in the car. What the fuck? Whoa. Pull over, Taco, pull over. There's a $30,000 reward for her. Yeah, I'm running. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Fucking hell. That, that'll buy a timeshare. Let's go. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So when you get there, uh, she's her head is you know you know how a forehead wound just gushes blood and she's kind of like oh she, she looks over and you can see that she is very malnourished and you know her clothes look like they haven't been washed in probably three weeks yeah I'll throw the door open if possible and are you okay uh uh, I I need help. Help the the heads. They they kept talking. What the fuck is she talking about? Let, let's get her out of here, Taco. Come on, let's okay. get her in the car. Yeah, we'll uh, try, yeah. To, tr try to get yeah, her out of the car. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, as you kind of. Uh, predicted you do see some people kind of like you know the 
neighbors yeah. that kind of open the Nosy door neighbors, you know, yeah. like yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay uh so you get her in into the car what do you want to do leave yeah listen to uh, me taco there's a thirty thousand dollar reward for this woman i say we get what we need to know from her yes. dump her somewhere alive and then call it in fucking hell yeah i could use thirty thousand dollars hey, well, hey 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 i yeah 15. 15. 15. That's right. That's right. All 15. right, let's go. Come on. Roll out. Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys roll out and yeah, do you, either of you have first aid? No. <laughs> you try it for base. It's what 15 at base? At 30. 30. Oh, I'll, I'll try. At least, yeah. Get us out of here, Taco. I'll sit in the back with her. No, yep, I'm going to drive this car. 14. Finally, we're turning 14. it around. 14. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she kind of like uh starts to you kind of get her kind of focus and she's like who 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 are you we're here to help we're here to help we heard uh, you where have you been she's like I, I, I i've been been in some empty well it's not empty it's there's this machine in there and i had to keep putting green liquid into these jars why uh, the heads they would start talking is this the gang se14 brought put you up to this that was what was tattooed on their forehead yeah se14 what is that it's a gang it's a, ga it's a gang it's a gang oh did you do you see dr lopez there yes yeah yeah uh -huh. he uh -huh. he he was yeah yeah he would he would cut on this man. He would he would remove parts from from this man they had nailed to the wall. Ah, what the fuck! I bet uh, I bet how'd that you, was pig how'd pen. you get out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you get the, out? Uh, this and guys can give me psychology. Right. Okay. Fifty-five. Nope. I know that's not a success, but it might be enough to. Where am I? 40. Mm, yeah, they they call me lucky for a reason. I'll do it. All right. She's like going, they they made some sacrifice and two of the heads started talking. One of them, the main one, only talks every six hours and, and tells them what SE 13 is going to do. I, I don't know. And this thing came out it was just came out of nothing and everyone started screaming and i just ran i just ran i left mia behind i i, I just ran oh mia was back there yeah yeah oh shit lucky i Look, think I, we gotta we gotta tell the others fucking yeah. hell man now it's thirty thousand split five ways <laughs> uh, well that's more than i had um you're right, right you're right you're right taco are you driving yes yeah he's the one driving yeah. give me a drive combined drive spot hidden okay um how do i so, do that so you just roll but you just have to succeed at both of them oh okay okay that is a success on the spot hidden, but a failure on the drive. Okay, so uh, as, as you're driving, your success on the spot hidden, you look up and you see this humanoid thing kind of like just pop into reality in front of you. And um, it kind of reaches out and when you try and avoid it you uh whip the wheel and you kind of spin the thing and where it would hit hit it it actually kind of passes into the car through it and you can give me a sanity roll that is a pass okay and for that you will take up oh, zero for a pass. All right. So, um, as you stop, you see a uh, this this thing is probably about 
seven foot start walking toward your vehicle uh, from the other side. Fucking hell. And I just Taco, like, what the fuck? I don't know. I'm getting out of here and I'm going to just stand on the gas and try to drive myself away. Okay. Give me a drive. Better. That's a pass. Yeah. You kind of, uh, you get the tires start, start, start squealing, but you know enough that if you slam the gas all the way down, you would just fishtail and, and pull a princess and ruin your car. Hey! But, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. so you, but uh, w- as you're pulling away, the nurse goes, that was it. That was what they, th- that showed up. It's coming for me. I'm not hanging around. We're getting you out of here. And me and Lucky. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anything else you wanted to ask her? Or um, for- no. Let's let's go. Let's. I'm gonna start texting the gang that we found. Okay. Uh, so it's too long to uh, just abort plan. Meet us back at the meet, meet us back at the hangout. All let's right. There. Sounds. You want to get our nails done now? No, oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guys ready to take a quick uh, break? Yeah. Yeah. No. All All right. Right. yeah. Excellent. All right. So we'll cut over to uh, Digger, uh, Frosty, and Princess. As you guys uh, arrive at her house, there is a car uh, parked in the driving in the in the driveway. Uh, it has a personalized license plate. ER space DR. Fuck that guy. Mm -hmm. ER doctor. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. And we won't have gotten a text yet saying that Mia is somewhere else. So, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Step one, Digger. Uh, We're going to do the block and then we're going to drop you between the house and the car where the little shrimp can't see you and you're going to knife the tires. And then we're going to go on foot inside and and pick up the little the little fucker. All right. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> I think this will work. Yeah, I'll probably knife the tires quite well. <laughs> okay. Remember not to pick your teeth with that while I'm driving. Pothole will just get right. I've often wondered if you knife a tire, does it make a lot of noise? Can you go in slow so that it doesn't make a you come out noise? slow? Yeah, because when the, the blades in, the air is coming out, and you oh. move it slowly. But then it's also it's going to be at yeah, oh. unless it's nineteen twenty three, in which case there's one of those inner tubes inside. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. So round the block, second time, pop the tires, and then it, what kind of block is it? Because I don't know that he's waiting for us, obviously. Right, yeah. When you go around the block, I mean, you know, it's a typical suburban block, so, yeah. Right, so we don't want to, we, we're not going through people's backyards and scaring the children at the pools, because that will get the 5 here right away. Right, so we just park uh, on the other side of the street from... Nurse okay. Mia's house and just walk over and go in the front door. It's probably unlocked. All right. Do we want to leave? Do you want to stay? We we brought two vehicles. Do we want? Uh, do you want Digger? Do you want me or Princess to do a to have a getaway, or do we just want to go in together because it'll be easier to pick up the little fucker? He's not a big man, right? Our twenty-seven-year-old no. surgeon. You want no. me to go around the back? After I pop the tires, in case he tries to run out the back. That's good. That sounds yeah, he, good. He's size fifty, so he's yeah, he's pretty small, dude. <laughs> Compared to us. Mm-hmm. You want me to stay in the car as lookout, or you want me to go inside too? Why don't you uh, stay I in the car, you're... princess? All right, I'm gonna have my gun out. I don't know. What do you think, Frosty? I just don't want to drive and get away again. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in the back seat. Stay okay. on the phone. Tell everybody what's about to happen. Okay. 
I'll yeah. live tweet it. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Good choice. Right. So you know, we should all check our weapons first, because I'm basically if he doesn't give us if he doesn't give me a lot of trouble, I'll just press the 38 into his ribs and walk him to the car. Uh, all right. All right. So you guys uh approach the uh the house. Uh I assume you try the front door. Yeah. It is unlocked. And uh, when you go inside, um, there's trash just piled everywhere. And you've been in a home where people have like a pizza box that they haven't thrown out. You know, you get that kind of smell of... Uh, food going spoiling because you know it hasn't been properly refrigerated yeah does it smell like sick person too no no it smells like you know someone that doesn't take care of their house that's weird did uh it was weeks right that we were told at the hospital that me has been sick uh yeah fewer weeks than then, uh, was uh, missing missing but still a long time i mean some people just can't take care of shit when they uh is she in the living room is she watching the tv on the couch uh when you cut nope there is no tv going uh both of you can give me a listen roll and that's me coming in the front and mm -hmm. digger in the back and you can yep. 81 is not going 82 to that's All like right. the third 82 this evening. I think you had an 83 and an 82, but oh. I'm not going to split hairs. Okay. Um, so you, you come on in, but you can hear a man talking. He's uh, speaking in Spanish. And um, I think we're all Spanish. Yeah, yeah, you guys uh, can understand. And uh, he goes... Uh, you hear him going. He's like, uh, th "This last one. Th this is the the experiment. The 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 liquido verde, green liquid. This will this will be able to one to do it." It's like you, you know how people will talk to themselves when they're working on things. That's what it, it sounds, sounds like, like a human, not a not a radio. Yep. yep. So uh, I'm guessing th th she's a what. And it's a man's voice. It's a man's voice. This is a middle class ish house. Uh probably a lower middle class, you know. Small two story, upper working class nurse kind of the the neighborhood is Yeah, it's probably not even a two story. Okay. So he's probably in the kitchen or there's a bedroom off the front room or near it. Yeah, I'm just okay. I guess I'm gonna draw my thirty eight at that point and follow the voice. Okay. All right. When you guys, you come around the corner and like the door to the bedrooms open, you see, uh, you, you recognize him because he's the guy that operated on you. He's got a meat cleaver in his hand and uh, he's got a rat kind of laid down and he's got the meat cleaver raised up like he's going to chop the rat in half. Next to it is this... Uh, bunsen beaker you know full of this green liquid with some coils you know th think of your typical crazy like scientist yeah like a yeah. still this green liquid come out and it but it ends in like this uh needle that you would shove in someone but when you come around the corner he's got the meat cleaver up and the rat kind of like squeaking <laughs> is the rat a rat sized rat yep is he holding it with one hand? Or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Buenos and dias, Caperucita Roja. Little red uh, riding hood. It's the only thing I know how to say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he spins around, and you have a gun, so you have a plus 50 initiative. Uh, do you want to shoot or see no. what he does? I, we're supposed to take a hostage. Okay. If he uh, makes a move, uh, you it looks like he's going to throw the meat cleaver at you. Then I'll shoot him in the shoulder. Okay. Give me a shot with a bonus die. Uh, 
88. <laughs> oh my um, God. Wait, I get a bonus sign? Oh. I get a bonus sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 08. Oh, ho, ho. nice. So, yeah, right. um, you know, because you weren't aiming to kill, I will say that right. you hit him and he kind of flies back. And I'll give him a constitutional to see if it, that knocks him out from uh, 73. He does pass out from the. Oh, I wanted him to cry like a little bitch. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck is that? he doing? I don't know. Uh, I'm going to pick up the cleaver and put it inside the rat. I don't like rats. Mm-hmm. Uh, if it hasn't escaped already, it probably yeah, it probably has probably bolted at the gunshot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, this the green fluid. Is there a heat source under it? There is not. Is it bubbling or doing anything? No, but it's still viscous. Is means that it's got a little bit of like solidity to it, but it's still mostly liquid. Right? It's in a it's in a beaker. Yeah, a big beaker. No, no. Something we can take with us? Oh, yeah, quite easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm strong. I'll I'll, I'll grab the doctor. I got to yeah. tie him up. Mm-hmm. Well, he's out. Carry him out to the car and tie him up. Yeah, but what uh, if he wakes up halfway there? Then hit him with the butt of your gun. All right. All right. I don't so care I'll, if he suffers. I'm going to uh, I'm going to check the house, but it looks like the nurse isn't here. It looks like he's taking the place over. I'll uh, I'll drag him out. Okay, so while you, before you do that, we'll cut over to Princess. So, Princess, you're sitting out in the car. You see this large vehicle uh, pull up behind you, and uh, it stops. And out of the right side uh, steps a, uh, a man in a suit. He comes walking up to you, but, and he comes up, and he uh, knocks on the window. I just look at him. He punches through the window. I'm going to, I had my gun ready, so I'm just going to shoot him. Okay. Uh, Give me a roll. Okay. (gasps) Yes, I pass it. Yes. Okay. Roll your damage. A four plus one. No, just a four. Just a four. Okay. Uh, When you shoot, like, it you were positive that that should have went through his head but his head almost like a hole opens up the bullet probably passes through and the head snaps back together you can give me a sanity roll <laughs> i pass it okay uh that will be a 1d4 oh my gosh his head, so his head was there, and then I shot it, and then it... Suddenly there was a hole in the head, and then it just snapped back. <laughs> a three. Okay. All right, so with that, you kind of like, the gun kind of shakes in your hand and drops. That's your involuntary reaction to the thing, and he goes, goes, come now, princess. Is this any way, way to greet us? My name is uh, Cochin S. Wa- Waghalter. He's like going, I've been watching watching you for a while. Are you a TikTok follower? He's like going, if that helps you cope with it, he's like going, this will only hurt for a moment. And then his mouth opens up and this long, bloody tongue comes out and kind of licks your face. And you can give me a constitution roll with a two penalty dice. What? <laughs> Uh, okay, Constitution is sixty-five. I just rolled a seventy-one. Yeah, yeah that's a so fail it doesn't there. matter. Yeah. Okay. The world goes black. He like so- licks my face. I just did my makeup. That's what I was doing in the car. Fuck. Yep. She gives you like a saving throw. <laughs> yeah. uh, I look pretty. <laughs> whose shot rang out first, ours or hers? Yours. Okay. So you hear a shot come from outside. Okay. Yeah. I was like, somebody's shooting outside. I, I drop Dr. Surgeon mm-hmm. and uh, run to the window and look out. 
Do I see them taking Princess? Uh, You see a... uh, We've all seen Phantasm, right? Uh, Almost like the Undertaker. He just kind of reaches in, picks her up, you know, how the the tall man could just unnatural strength just... He almost pulls her through the window like nothing and then just Mm -hmm. is carrying her but his arms fully straight, which, you know, normally, you know, your, your shoulder muscle would give up pretty easily carrying someone like that. Okay, so I'm going to immediately run out the front door saying, drop my girlfriend, motherfucker, and I'll just start shooting him. Okay, as you start running to the front door, give me a uh, spot hidden. (laughs) 95. I'm looking at her and him. Yeah. Uh, Frosty, you can give me a spot hidden also. See if you... Yeah, 24 is good. That's a hard, I think. All right. So you, as you see Digger running, you see suddenly a hand, kind of like Ash's hand in Evil Dead 2, come running out from under the trash and grab Digger's hand and kind of just yank. <laughs> uh, severed hand from yeah. the trash in the garbage of the house. Yes. And so you can give me a sanity roll for that, too. <laughs> fair. Me, too. That's yeah. fair. Yeah. <laughs> Now I get a 31. What's my sanity? Oh, yeah. I I pass. Yeah, Just one, one point if you pass. This uh, isn't exactly routine, routine, but I'm immune to routine. Yeah. Sanity. Yeah. It's more of like there's a severed hand that is moving around. <laughs> yeah. Not routine. Uh, just one. Okay. Uh, all right. I think, what's the vehicle look like that's behind ours? Uh, it's a large black Cadillac. So it's sort of like some moving the president around bullshit yeah. kind of thing. It's probably got, it's probably reinforced against, yeah. Uh, yeah, Digger, don't hit princess. Uh Oh, he can't. He take the hand off your hand before you maybe step on it. Well, you said it yanked me. What? It, it grabbed it your leg and yanked, and you can give me a dex roll to kind to of see like if I stood up. Yeah, not slipped. No, I I slipped. I well, yeah, I, it was yanked out from under me. So I yeah, I you just flat on my not, face. Yeah, you were not expecting a hand to grab you, which is a reasonable yeah not expectation <laughs> i like the i like the hostage plan i'm changing the plan and i'm going to put my 38 against dr dookie's head and erase <laughs> it. yeah red mist no problem his brain chunk skull splatter all over the uh bedroom that he was doing his exercise his work in and, and the he- green vial did digger take that no, he picked up the doc. Oh, he was going to pick up the yeah. doctor. I, I so the green vial still sitting there. Yeah. All right. I'll, uh, is it? Is there a cork or anything like sure. that? Sure. 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 I'm going to cork that and shove it in my jacket, and then go out the back door of the house. No, yeah. I have to go out the front and get the hand off Digger. So again, I guess I'm going to. So, you know, this is certainly a full round. Finish off Surgeon Doogie, take the vial, and I'm going to approach the front of the house cautiously. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right. And you uh, see uh, Princess is, uh, you know, he kind of tosses her into the car. Then he slides in, but you know, the steering wheel is on the side, like it's a British spec car. So. Yeah. And then he's just. <laughs> and then he right. backs. He's, he's driving away. Yep. And the hand on Digger's ankle. Can I like uh, stomp on the, is how much wrist is there? Uh, We'll say probably about uh, there. Good. So I can stomp on that and pull his leg out without letting it grab me. Yeah. What's it look like, the hand? 
Is it uh, like a young Latin hand with one fingernail painted? Or are there uh, tattoos? Or is Yeah, it- there's probably a tattoo like a spider right on the web of the uh, thumb and forefinger. And yeah, it is definitely a uh, his- Hispanic hand or a Latino hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, you all right, Tigger? Um, well, I was letting you go through that scene. Uh, if I'm not completely dazed or anything, I'm just going to grab my gun and start shooting at the car. Even if I'm on my belly, I'm just going to start okay. shooting at it. Give me a roll. Don't fumble. I I have never rolled so bad <laughs> in the game. 94. Okay, that's not a fumble. That's not a fumble. So, so the bullets uh, are just going wild. Yeah, yeah, there and and all and uh, yeah, princess. Maybe you're kind of like uh, waking up and like w- you see one hole in the gu- in the car, kind of like appear as a bullet passes through just uh, above your head. I probably haven't seen the hand. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just tripped. I tripped on the hose. I think or yeah, something. Well. Oh, but yeah. the car is just taking off. Let it get my nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So then I should take sanity when I turn around and see the hand on my. Yeah. Leg. Yeah. Um, no, I don't ha- pass that. You pass. It's just one point. All right. But I'm I'm pretty pissed off and hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. Think you're fucking run. You got to follow that car. And I'm going to. Again, like I've got a a heel on the root of the hand mm-hmm. and pull Digger's Timberland or whatever out of it. <laughs> and I'm going to just use my other heel to like try to break every bone in that hand because I can just see it like getting a nail in my ankle or something and fucking. Yeah, like, yeah. You know. All right. Um, give me a fighting brawl but as long as you don't fumble you're it's a hand i mean <laughs> yeah uh, uh well i didn't fumble okay it's yeah, yeah. for 60 so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it wasn't so, as nice as i like yeah 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 but you do hear the bones start to crack underneath it uh, you're and i'm looking stuff. around at the garbage too because like mm-hmm. they've got a lot of body parts to Fuck they around with. We gotta go yeah. after him. Yeah, run, digger. You get you oh, see if you okay. can follow it. Yeah, I'll once it's off my ankle, then I'm gonna start running. Get the okay. car and follow me. Come you got and get two me. cars. Oh, okay. Well, I'll run for my car and jump in the car and peel okay. out. Because the princess oh. wasn't driving, and we wanted to have two cars to, for getaway. Okay, all right. I take the nicer uh, car. <laughs> the nicer car. All right. Are you going to floor it or? Uh, all I'm right, give me, give me a drive auto with the penalty. Hard to need a penalty for these dice. <laughs> yeah. uh, these 47 dice is the first roll. That is a pass. Ooh. And 94 is not a pass. All we right. have crashed every car that we've <laughs> driven this yeah, I so, uh, well, I'm hysterical. Like, so. right when you floor it, maybe, uh, Lucky, how are you going to warn them not to go to this nurse's house? So, I I don't know what kind of danger they're in. Mostly, I'm... And she, I don't think the nurse said anything about the other nerd like she so she, I, she just said mia's there is me, yeah so i think it would i would have just said abort we know where mia is and like so, no other yeah yeah but right when you floor it your phone lights up you see abort we know where mia is and that <laughs> distracts you enough that you kind of like hop the curb you know and uh you don't crash the car because you weren't pushing the roll but like <laughs> You see uh, the black cattle. The black. Yeah. 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 Um, is the car damaged or am I just. Yeah, but it's still drivable. I mean, you know, you okay. guys have a lot worse cars than your. Well, as soon as I pull myself sort of together, I'll I'll start driving again. Uh, okay. I uh, won't floor it. I probably can't floor it. Yeah. All right. All right. Frosty, what are you doing? There is no chance that. We're going to have any idea where the 
black Cadillac went at that point, right? We've, he's gotten a lead of at least yeah. five blocks and can make any number of turns. So there's yeah. no chance that I'll have any way to follow. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, have a pull of my mezcal. Mm -hmm. I keep in the glove compartment and I'm going to text yeah. Lucky back and say, uh, uh, Doogie's down. They have princess fucked. I'll text uh, back. Uh, we have Jeanette. Wow. Uh, club in 20. Hey, all right. All right. So princess, you are kind of jostled around as he kind of dries, but it, you know, after, you know, a little bit of time, he kind of eases off the gas and, uh, you know, every once in a while he kind of reaches back and he's got like this, like, not quite a billy club, but something kind of hits you with it. And he's, he's just being sadistic, you know, just like he, he's laughing about it. And uh, when, he, when he stops, he gets out of the car, and he opens the door, and he's, like, going, he offers his hand, and he's, like, going, come, uh, Viper's waiting. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to resist. I'm pretty pissed off that he's been hitting me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's I'm going to try to run away really fast. Um. Okay, give me a dodge roll. Okay. This is going to work out great. Not with that roll, it's not going to work. <laughs> I, no, I did not pass that. I rolled a zero to one. So. Ah! Oh, wow. Uh, he grabs you by your hair and just oh! starts, starts dragging you. He brings you into, you're at this warehouse. He brings you into this warehouse, and inside you hear this guy just almost moaning constantly in pain uh as you're kind of being drugged down down the way you see uh you recognize this pig pen the leader of uh you know a fellow gang member he is uh missing uh, his right leg up to his knee his left leg is up to about halfway up his thigh uh he's nailed to the wall and uh but the wor what the worst is, you see this large machine, and uh, have you seen Futurama? You know the, the heads in jars? Yeah. Oh, there's three heads in a jar. Each of the heads have SE14 tattooed across them. Uh, they're almost set up in a uh, parody of the crosses of Golgotha. Uh there and uh Mr. Walkhalter kind of throws you down and he looks around and he's like going you'll need a new doctor and you can give me a sanity roll because one of the okay. lead head's eyes opens uh, opens its eyes oh my god I, I rolled a 69, and my sanity is a 69. Oh, nice. 1d6. Okay. <laughs> I don't get cool points or anything? Okay. You get me go, you nice. A five. <laughs> okay, give me, give me an intelligence roll. Okay. I'm looking. That's at 75. And I rolled an 86. Okay. Your mind protects you from what you see but uh the head looks at you and is like going uh <clears throat> you're princess i've seen you before you're friends with lucky he's like but more importantly you're digger's lover do you want to call him willingly or shall we start taking body parts till you do uh <laughs> We don't have a doctor, so it will be more painful. 
I'll I'll just I'll just call him. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Only because the whole time I was thinking, I was trying to like figure out I was waiting for a chat a second to like text or like do like a beacon on my phone or like some sort Yeah. of distress signal on my phone. So like as soon as he says, Do you want to call your boyfriend? I'm like, Yes, I want to, without thinking. Okay. All That's right. probably a bad idea for him. Sorry. Digger, your phone rings. Oh God. Babe, I can't talk right now. I'm trying to find. <laughs> Holy shit. How are you on the phone? Did you get away? Where are you? Is it me? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's you. Uh, don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come here. Don't come where? Don't come where? <laughs> shit. <laughs> I love you. I love you. It's the best. Thanks for murdering my sister's murder. I love you. Don't come here. Save yourself. Run. I'm going to locate Princess's phone on Do a my find phone. my Find my phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to say that you had that turned on. Okay. Okay. All right. Princess, standard, give standard gang policy that we keep our find my phones on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Princess, give me a sanity roll. Oh, God. Nope, I, I did not Yeah, ask that. it's pretty shocking when someone steps on your hand and brings a meat cleaver down to take off a couple of your fingers. There goes that nice ring you just got. I blame this all on Lucky for not going to the nail salon with me. Like, it's literally <laughs> her fault. All right. All right, we'll cut away from Princess's... Uh, I, I'm going to slow pull over so that I'm not texting and driving because that would be illegal. Yes. I will uh Good policy. I'll text the others and give them the location where the warehouse is. All right. I is this the same location that we had from Taco? It is. Yep. Yeah. So the problem is Digger, you can't go there. Oh, I'm going. But you she can't said, go there. She said not to go, but I'm going. I'm gonna go rescue her. Yeah. Figure you can't go there. Taco, explain why he can't go there. You can't go there because they're looking for a couple. And you would be the second half. I'm going. It's my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay, Bigger, you're not so great with directions. Uh I'm I'm gonna yeah, take a minute to brief everyone on the weird shit that Jeanette has said that she's observed at this warehouse. So everyone has an idea. Brains in jars and yeah, people nailed to walls and yeah, it's not good. It's not great. Heads in jars, not brains in jars. Yeah, and Mia's there. Yes. Uh, so yeah, and we you know, reverse brief specifically the reason that Right. Doogie is no more is because I vaporized his skull. I've got this green juice. That Do you he mention was, something about green he juice? He was talking. He was talking about it when we came in the house, and he was about to cut a rat in half and what inject it, or suck it out, or some bullshit. But maybe it's and also there was a fucking severed hand that she. Jumped out of the garbage like a goddamn street rat. The nurse and, said the heads were talking. Yeah. And so they could the see bits things. they've been cutting yeah. off are doing things. And I'm guessing it's the green bullshit that makes yeah. them work. Fucking hell. Uh, uh, how do we destroy this warehouse without letting Digger walk in there and get himself? Rosemary baby with princess. <laughs> Who is Rosemary's the, baby? <laughs> the people never ever I He's like he's little. I don't what does he have to do with any of this? He just turned two. No, no not the Rosemaria. No, Rosemary's <laughs> Baby is a novel that they made into a movie in the 70s, 80 years ago. It's about making a devil baby with two cursed people. They want a couple because they want a fucking baby. What if we, we put the Antichrist what if we in there? 
Digger is Digger is is determined to do this, but what if we use it to our advantage? Yeah. Okay. If he goes in there, but we're ready to. Because they're gonna want him anyway. They want what him. What do you think you should go in instead, Frosty? Pretend to be Digger? Yeah, I think we're gonna fool these sons of bitches. They know everything we do. Yeah, I know the I know the passphrase. Shaving a haircut. Shaving a haircut with three bumps. That's clever. Mm. Oh, that sounds wrong, man. It does. Uh, what if we go there, but we put a fucking string of grenades inside Digger first? <laughs> I, I'm not waiting, by the way. I'm, I'm halfway there. <laughs> Yeah, can we have this conversation on like speakerphone, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> my, my my girlfriend is. Yeah. Well, then we got if he if we can't stop him, we use it to our advantage. He goes in, but we're ready. As ready as we can be. Lock and load, friends. Fuck it. If nothing right. else, they got the nurse. To... They they got they got a thirty thousand dollar reward on the nurse. If nothing else. That's something. Right. Uh, anybody telling Longhorn any of this? No, nah, it's been too chaotic. We haven't said anything. No, we haven't been by. Maybe we send the nurse to him. What, and let him take the reward? Yeah, take the reward anyway, dude. Yeah. You know Maybe he'll give us work? a backup at least. Maybe, we, yeah, if we could clean up our backup, if, Lung, if Longhorn knows where we're going... Might be, I you know, that situation at this nurse's house is fucking insane. All right. Well, while Taco is, is driving us there, I'll text Longhorn, explain the situation that we found the nurse who's got a giant reward on her head. We need backup at the warehouse. This is the address. Hey. All right, Digger, we'll say, because you said you're racing there, so you get there before obviously before they do okay yeah uh, when you pull up you see uh the warehouse it is uh wag halter uh incorporated is uh pa painted across the uh, outside you uh it does have a chain link fence with like a costantino wire across the top and there are some vehicles inside, and you do see the vehicle that drove off with your girlfriend. Is it chain there. link? Yes. Um, is there a gate? Yep. Then I drive through the gate. Okay. Yep. The gate is not made to stop a car, so yeah. The barbed wire wrapped all around. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I pull up and I uh, I carefully park correctly because otherwise it would be illegal. That's and, right. Uh, Very I leap out of the car with my gun and my mm -hmm. knife. Okay. To better hold correctly, or I would have got myself. Yeah. No need to capture that. All right. So stay away from my girlfriend. Yeah. When you get out, you see on the door, there is this uh, red painted symbol. It's uh, got a, a less than and a greater than, than symbol. And then in the middle is like this uh, stylized eye. And uh, yep, yeah. yes, right. And wow. as you approach, the eye kind of blinks at you. I'm going to kick the door in. All right. Give me a but strength. Roll. I'll do a sanity roll. Yeah. <laughs> 92. Ooh. What is wrong? These are my favorite dice. They're my favorite dice, too, now. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. Uh, you want uh, me to do a sanity roll? Yep. Yep. 1d3 for uh, if you fail that. Oh, well, that was I, a sanity. I, I did. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, yeah, intelligence? Yeah. No. Failed no, intelligence. One. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay. what did you say? 1d3 for the sanity loss for oh, okay. uh, eye blinking at you. No, three. All right. Okay. Uh, give me a strength roll to uh, kick the door in. All right. With Come a bonus on. die, you, you're adrenalized. Well, I've got 80, so let's yeah. see. 20. Uh, 
That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Kick it open and uh, inside kind of like what I described to princess, but now you can add in her screams as her uh, fingers are being chopped off. Uh, you hear the guy moaning on the wall and uh, just a din of insan insanity. Can I shoot at the guy who's. Yes, you can. Trying to cut off her fingers. Oh boy. Sorry, Princess, but that's 99. Oh. <laughs> princess, give me a luck roll. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I passed. I got a 22. Okay. He I only takes 50. a toe. He only takes a toe off with that bull. <laughs> 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 You Please. son of a bitch! <laughs> my favorite toe. <laughs> it's my favorite toe. Plus, I think it jams. So yeah, yeah, probably. And then I'll yeah. drop the gun and come running at them with my my okay. knife. All right. So as you come running up there, you see the heads. Uh, the uh, first one kind of turns towards you. He's like, "On ah, now the party's here." He's like, "On." We will let her go. We only require part of you. I'm not really listening to the whatever get, it's saying, but okay. I'm hearing it. Mm -hmm. And you give me a sandy roll because you have a decapitated head talking to you. <laughs> 52. That is an actually it's best. So. Oh, that is 1D3. Shut the fuck up, head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 1D3 for that. You do see uh, there are lots of sacrificed animals around, piled up around here. So has he, has somebody actually cut off something of Princess, her finger? Yeah, yeah. She, she, the finger that was wearing that nice new uh, ring is uh, separated. And I'm, uh, I'm Jason Voorhees attacking. Okay, all right. Give me a, uh, Brawl. Uh, 73. What is oh, my brawl man. at 65? I'll I'll spend what eight? Seven points of luck? To, to get to a regular? Connect. Yeah, to okay, a regular. Yeah. yeah, I rolled a regular also. So you need a regular. Um so I hit him. And I do, it says 1d3, 1d4, uh, three points of damage. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. Before we cut to the others, Princess, what do you do now that this guy is no longer like kind of standing on you and you can actually move? I'm going to, I'm going to try to go over to the jar with the head mm -hmm. and, and I want to try to like knock it off. Okay. When you go over to the head and you touch it, um, suddenly this thing, the thing that Lucky and Taco saw at the car, it kind of appears uh, by you and it it reaches is reaching toward you. You can make a fighting brawl. Uh, you can either try and push the head or you can try and deflect this thing that's reaching for you. I'm going to continue to push the head. All right. I'm doing a brawl. Okay. Yep. <gasps> I got a 21 out of 45. Ah! Are you pushing the main head that's been talking? The one that just talked to my yep. boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You push it off. It falls over. It's a jar. So it, it falls over. The head hits. When it hits, uh, you know, like an overripe melon, it kind of just bursts and brain matter goes everywhere but unfortunately for you the dimensional shambler which uh it grabs a hold of you and you can what is your size 50 average all right give me a sanity roll and we'll we'll uh cut to the other three i failed 1d10 Ooh. oh shit one 
Wow. <laughs> You're like, yeah, whatever. That's my girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's your girl. All right. Lucky Taco and Frosty. All that Suicide Squad <laughs> really paid off. <laughs> I think at yeah. this point, we're just going in, right? Like yeah. we, we've called for backup. We know we can't stop Digger. We just have to go. Okay. All right. So yeah. uh, I'm probably closest. Yeah. Since I followed him from the house. Yeah. And it's easy to go inside because the fence is in ribbons. Yeah. And the door is open. And and he parked very neatly. It's really <laughs> parallel to that line. Fucking nut. Uh, All right. Yeah. So, like, against the door, looking into the darkness, trying to get my bearings. It probably smells really bad in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm you, have... I mean, you hear people fighting. Uh, you know, Princess is probably screaming because there's and some stopping. weird thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a fresh clip in my 38, and I'm going to move in on the right side, stay in the shadow, and look for targets. Okay. But when you come in, you see, uh, you know, you see the. There's two heads now because one splattered on the ground that Princess kicked over. You see Digger kind of fighting with this guy. And you see uh, Mr. Woghalter, the guy that grabbed Princess, is just kind of standing there calmly watching the whole whole thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and Princess is bleeding significantly from one hand. Yep. I probably can't see the hole in her boot how's digger doing in his conflict i uh, he's winning right now and uh, can he see the shambler uh we'll get to that because okay. it's yeah i'm going to take a beat on one of the jarred heads because i've heard they tell the future okay fire away ask it if it saw this coming 22 is uh is that regular or hard 22 is hard okay all right you hit it i mean it's a jar with a yeah. head in it kind of explodes all right uh look at my dex order uh, taco okay um how far behind frosty are we not very at all maybe a step okay um, so yeah, I'll come into the room as well and mm -hmm. assess the situation. I see Frosty shoot one of the heads. I'm going to pull my gun and shoot the other head. Okay. Fire away. Okay. That is an eight. <laughs> it's go it explodes on that. And then lucky. Um, I will go, I'll run for digger and try to help. And help him in his fight. All right. So you get a bonus die because he is, the guy is outnumbered. All right. Hey, I'll just I'll pull out my knife and try to. Okay. Uh, that's a twenty-three. I got it's not a extreme, but it's a hard. I got regular, so you beat that. Okay. Uh, so that's a six damage. Yeah, D four plus two. Okay. Ooh, that takes him to. That is a uh, major wound. Oh, he stays up, but he's he's bleeding pretty good. All right, princess. So, uh, give me a uh, power roll. What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I see it. Oh, I have a seventy. I got an eighty-one. <laughs> All right. So, um, as the dimensional shambler kind of holds you. You he kind of fades out, and then you realize that you're both fading out. And you, uh, last thing you see is uh, these tentacled creatures blowing on these insane pipes and this nuclear chaos of uh, that is looks like it's asleep, but you know, if it'll wake, that everything would end. And you can give me a sanity roll. Oh my gosh, I don't know what this means. Oh, I got zero, 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 zero. 
Oh, oh, oh that's the worst. Oh, that's 100. <laughs> well, uh, the sanity loss for seeing Azathoth is 1d100, so you lose 100 sanity <laughs> as, as you are forever going to be dancing insanely at the court of Azathoth. But she's a princess <laughs> in a court, is yeah, she? Yeah, <laughs> wow, she takes over. <laughs> I'm going to be their social media no. person. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And it, you just, she just disappears. And that all kind of happened at the same time. So with her feeling that that's why Frosty, when he came around, she wasn't staying. It wasn't, he thought he saw her and then she disappeared. And he's like, well, you know, <laughs> all right. You guys can finish off this guy without any problem. Uh, Mr. Waghelter, he he just kind of keeps standing there. And once you finish off the other one, he, he kind of smiles and he's like going, uh, do we want to establish SE-15? Where's my girlfriend, you son of a bitch? And I'm going <laughs> to run at him. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. When you come running at him, he uh, he smiles and then uh, he turns into the uh, bloody tongue. And uh, you can give me a sandy roll for seeing the uh, bloody oh, tongue. The top. Yep. No. I'm assuming the rest of us need to do sandy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Unsurprisingly, yeah. I got a 98. Oh. Uh, How many 90s? That is, <laughs> right, two rough. points, I got it. Two points. Okay, Nair, let's go to... Uh, so that's also a D100, isn't it, to see I him in I think his... it is, yeah, in his, in his uh, bloody tongue form. And I got an 89, so... Oh, I, my oh. God. I am also joining my princess yes. in the court of <laughs> Incense, in the court of Azathoth. How bad is it on a success? Uh, do, do, do. I closed the book like an idiot. Okay, there it is. Uh, 1d10 only for a success. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Oh, 10. Oh, 10. 26. Nice. I also failed. No, oh, 1d100 oh. for you, Frosty. 32. Not, mm. not bad. Yeah. Just kind of. All right. I'm going to make an intelligence roll. Up yeah, make it easy. Which uh, is of course, I passed that. So you pass. Uh, ten I, is on the whatever right. ten is on the. Um, we'll just because uh, we're at the end. We'll say that uh, with you guys all getting bouts of madness, uh, establishing a new gang with this uh, like a great idea. Seems yeah. like a great idea. Yeah, let's do this. And uh, all you got to do is grab a couple people off the streets, cut their heads off. And suddenly you've got another machine that can foresee the future. You know, you got a uh, bunch of backup about to come this way. This is great. $30,000 yeah. sitting in the car there. Well, the equivalent yeah. of, yeah, we're good. He'll teach someone how to make the uh, reanimator fluid because he can. I have some. Yeah, yeah, you have some. So yeah. you got a jump start. Excellent. Nice. That was outstanding, Keith. Yeah, thank you, Keith. That was really yeah. interesting. So what's the whole story? Very uh, funny. So the whole story is Cochin S. Walkhalter, which is an anagram for the crawling chaos. Yep. The, uh, <laughs> and we didn't see it, David. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, met uh, Dr. Lopez uh, and started teaching him how to reanimate because he because. Uh, it's not our lithodep, he's an asshole. <laughs> so, and uh, when Viper started uh, having his brother hang out at, at meetings, Longhorn went to have him killed because he felt that he was letting an outsider into the gang meetings. Uh, well, he did successfully kill Viper, but uh, they were able to revive him because the head that was talking, that was Viper's head. Well, they knew all the phone numbers because Naira Lithotep knew it all. all. The phone numbers. He yeah. invented the phone. I'm on his speed dial. <laughs> he, on, he, he invented oh. social media. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, and so he was just uh, trying to take over, and if he was able to get the two lovers to sacrifice part of their body, it would have brought a star vampire into the world to cause further chaos in, in, in the area. Longhorn didn't tell you about Viper because he was kind of embarrassed that he went to knock this guy off, and it did not happen. Mm. You could have. So it was Nyarlathotep calling him on the phone. Yep. Yep. Because Viper was dead. It was just Nyarlathotep, that guy calling, you know, speaking through them. (laughs) Nice. Awesome. Really good story, though, because there was that moment. I don't know if you saw it. It was at 236 that I suddenly jumped because I like, oh, shit, this is reanimation. Uh, (laughs) This is reanimator stuff. Yeah. I was really, really tickled when I realized what was going on. Nice. Thank yeah. you very much. I'll go ahead and I'll finish up. <clears throat> Our players included Jenny Olson, Julian Arba, David Gasway, Holly Buto, and myself, with Keith Gregg as the Keeper of Arcane Lore. We have a Discord server where you can chat with other members. You can set up private games and you can learn the finer arts of gameplay and game mastering. We provide audio only versions of our shows free for you to download from Spotify, iTunes, or Podbean. If you'd like to help support our show, please visit our Patreon account. Just a dollar to a month helps us a lot. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel and punch the bell icon for updates on our latest shows. And leave us some comments. We enjoy reading them and answer any questions you might have. This is Tom Rayleigh, together with all the members of our gaming club, inviting you to journey with us once again into the darkness for another adventure into the universe of HP Lovecraft and the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. Until next time, good luck, good gaming. We'll be